are you all excited for another episode of Rot Grind? Oh! Erndale ah! ah! is taking over a GM. Help me! Yes, I'm going to crash this plane! Oh, take it soon! Take it soon! They got too much power last week and now they've taken over! Help me! Okay, Thurston, I'm gonna need you to roll a DC 20 survival check. If you don't, you will not survive. What are my bonuses? I don't have a character! Burn it. Zero! Burn it. No! Burn it. <laughs> Okay, uh, that is exactly 10% of what you needed to roll. You perish. <laughs> you rolled out, Dan. I didn't Just chat, I have a new dead. wireless dongle. I'm connected to everything forever. He's connected to all of you all at once. Hi, everybody. Excellent. Welcome. Welcome to, I think it's episode 9 now of Rock. Yeah, we're at 9. Yes. Awesome. Guys. Thank you all so much for showing up to the show. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for coming over to. Uh, the live stream, you can always see us live at twitch.tv forward slash Zone the Bear. We greatly appreciate people coming over saying hi. It gives us all the energy seeing all of your reactions and all of your responses to the things that we do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, before I get into the news, I want to introduce everybody. You know, I always switch it up because I never be consistent. So introduce you to the amazing people who kind of bring you rock ranks, starting off from left to right. Oda Roshi, how you doing? Hello, it's me, Oda Roshi Ryder. I'm playing Va Lee, the Sylph Swashbuckler, uh, and I'm also in your home right now playing your video games. Uh, you need to get a better selection. It's kind of shit right now, but, you know, I forgive you just this once. And next up, we have Hulky Crow. Hey, that's me. I am Hulky Crow, also known as Hulkster the Bulkster. I am playing Rohua, the Kenrasu Cleric. Uh, his voice is going to be changed from here on out. I'm talking like this now. He's going to be an Italian tree. I, I jab uh, you in your, in, your, in, your, in your throat and you fix this now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cook it to pizza. I make it the oil on the other party. That's how it is. Pizza. Come on. I hope you like this character <laughs> dynamic change, chap. I crush your larynx so you don't do that again. Nice Twitch chat. <laughs> Stream is something happened to it, that's all I'm saying. I crush yeah, your I'm larynx so you stop yeah. doing that. Sam, if something happened to this broadcast you'd be enjoying. I cast I castrate you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is that uh. well, next up we have Aaron Dill. No, I'm 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 the GM. You have to do me last. Okay, so uh, yes, but I'm, uh, my name is Aaron Dill. I am uh I'm a voice actor and doing stuff for Alpha Busa with a lot of projects. We just, you may or may not have seen episode three recently. Uh, that is courtesy mostly of our, my good friend Speaker D. You'll see him in a minute when it comes time for him, but not yet. I'm talking. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're happy to see all of you folks. Hope you guys enjoyed Under the Parenting, if I can chill for like exactly one second. You had your second done. Next up, Speaker D. Yeah, now it's my time to shell. Yeah, Hi, yeah. everybody. I'm Speaker D. You know me. I play Tannhauser, the revolutionary android magus. And uh, I'm also a writer and voice actor for Alpha Busa and Ogre Popenang. And I'm also responsible in large part, but not entirely, for uh, Hunter the Parenting Episode 3, which I hope you all liked the conclusion of Piotr Mania. Oh, I, I also play Bremblo, the uh, obese uh, bomb holding avocado connoisseur who is currently problem. deceased. <laughs> Passed away from natural causes. What did you yeah. say currently? No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think you will find Thurston <laughs> Hilton that Bremblo is returning. <laughs> he is currently I thought, deceased. <laughs> I thought Speaker had told you that he was going to be playing two characters. Yeah. Bremblo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like a Morgan Thorpe kind of situation. <laughs> Off call, GM. I think you will find that Brembo is coming back, Thurston. Please roll a DC 50 roll to see if you are able to kill him for longer than one minute. But it's not a 50 roll, seven. that's a D20 roll. You can't even fucking count. <laughs> no, he had a bonus of uh, 43, so he actually passed. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Goodbye. Listen, but for the one who fails their roles and also makes her suffer, uh, our illustrious game master, Thurston Hillman. How you doing, buddy? Hi, I'm Thurston Hillman, Thirsty on Call GM. I write words sometimes for game companies like Paizo and Warhammer Properties and other shit. Um, uh, you know what? Like, the last two weeks have kind of been a fever. I, like, well, let's just play the game today. You don't need to know about it. Let's just, let's just get into it. 
Also, man, I am your host, Zoran the Bear. I will be playing the Strix Druid name Oren. Yes, I know the name is dumb. We'll all get over it together. But with that, we're going to go through announcement stuff. Announcement stuff before we get to the campaign. Uh, first off, Patreon stuff. For, we get or we did a giant little update in stuff for people who may be interested for um, all the stuff that's kind of happening behind the scenes and things like that. Uh, one of the things we're going to be introducing in the future is the complication system. Uh, if you're those of you who watch Warhands and stuff like that, uh, we're bringing that back. Basically, if we roll a natural one and stuff, you guys get to basically mess us up. Uh, you guys get to submit your stuff if you are a Patreon member uh, and stuff like that. Submit all your uh-ohs to us. We will then filter through them, stuff like that. But we are going to be as transparent as we can about it. Really illustrate what this system is about. Please head over to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash narrative declarations to see the details on that. Along with giving thirst and villain points. So, you know, not this episode that will be in. I have to talk to Sonosu, who's our lovely coder, who has kind of brought you these lovely little hero point bars. Uh, on how that's going to work is basically every time you donate to us, a portion of that goes to Thurston, or you can directly donate to Thurston's villain bar. So for anyone who likes to come over and say like, hey, but the game, the, the players constantly just win on the tag. They could read rather the D20s. No, nah. they actually destroy, they actually mess us up more than they help us, I think, unless someone wants to do the math for me um, on how many times they've helped or denied us. But now, every time you help us, you also help Thurston get a villain point, which he can use to really mess us up. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Along with a whole bunch of other stuff called our Warhams one-shot. If you all want to see our old Warhams characters come together in the realm of rock grind and uh, get one last reunion, possibly running a tavern together and stuff, that's going to be a Patreon-exclusive thing. So there's details on that as well. So if you're interested in all that stuff, please head over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration to find out more. Along with that, uh, I don't think there's anything else that anybody else would like to bring up, but of course I'd like to say congratulations, fellas, on uh, the new Hunter of the Parenting episode three. With what I saw from it, everyone did a fantastic job. So yeah, a good little round of applause kind of deal. Woo, really, really yeah! Good. Yeah. Job, Sorry, I missed a little bit of that because I watched Shia Kazing. Huh. My goodness. Again? No. But with Sorry. that, with that, Thurston, uh, I guess we can jump right back when we left off. I think we were being brutally murdered. Well, yeah, pretty <clears throat> epic. last time, our destined band of Chuckle fucks. You, you know what? No. I basically blacked out last week. I think there was something about Rahua going to a restaurant and then avocados and then something about like, I'm 600 pounds nearing the end of my life. Then Boy showed up. Then we crossed realities and Baron Stackwall showed up and a do the dog. Uh, th then like during a pitch of what I assume was a fever dream, Erndale stepped in and GM'd uh, and rounded up everyone with a tyrant skilled NPC he had with a chainsaw car. Um, and then I guess the rest of the party uh, in like the, the the not fever dream portion of the, the session uh, discussed their destiny and refused to accept that they died when they fell several hundred feet into a sinkhole. Uh, oh, and then the Tyrants Guild uh, were rampaging down the streets on a hunt to to oppress the people. Uh, so our heroes, they all stepped in to fight that and we got into a big battle and like things weren't necessarily going too well in that big battle, I think. Um, but, but, you know, you know, because, because, hi, I can't help myself sometimes. Um, today's session starts with the the black the black screen, and then the 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 fancy white text appears that just says in the most plain font. It's like Times New Roman centered in the middle of the screen. I'm not actually doing this, but I'm painting this picture in your head, and it says one day earlier, and um, we cut to a jail cell. Uh, a jail cell that we've seen before where, in fact, our campaign began, except uh, currently in this jail cell. Um, Roshi Ryder, would you, you describe so the small child to which you inflicted upon me last session uh, and what they're doing in the prison cell? Uh, this is my punishment chat. Uh, this is this is this is what I've earned. Uh, yeah, there is a there there's a there's a kid probably about ten, uh, scruffy blonde hair, um, 
debatably, maybe male. Um, you know, I, I just kind of started saying a voice and, um, you know, it just kind of came out. Um, uh, they're sitting there, they've got like, um, an empty bottle of wine in one hand, uh, and they're just, you know, hitting it against the bars, you know, like uh, w w when the prisoners have like the steel cups and they just do, 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 right, just along the bars. And along with the sound, we, we hear the, the trudging of footsteps, heavy, armored footsteps echoing down the chamber. And you can hear, um, or at least your, your, your childlike character, Odo, can hear the, the, the sounds of, of cells being opened. ka -chink, ka -chink, clunk, and the, the metal moving back and forth. And it seems to be getting closer and closer. But the footsteps are also uh, getting closer and closer. And we cut to our good friend, the, the, the orcish guard Hummel, who who you your character would know is the sort of overseer of this establishment this half orc in the garb of the tyrants guild has come up to you um to your cell i should say with a key and is going through several keys on a, on a ring and goes to unlock the cell Ugh, you we're letting you out thank fucking christ uh, that, that deity doesn't exist in this setting. Oh, right, sorry, thank, uh, spinning a wheel, Th thank, um, Unky Blaze, whatever. Yeah, um, you can, uh, you can, can go out the, the, the door and you, you're, you're free to go. Well, it took you long enough. Yeah, 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 just, and... uh, you, you, just get out of here, you're, you're free to go. All right. I'm going to like I'm going to um uh, narratively declare that there's like a stool in the cell and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to set it in front of Holmo and I'm just going to just going to put a, a tiny hand on uh his shoulder and just say thanks dipshit and I'm going to run. <laughs> Holmo just like looks down it's like this is my last day on the job. Just got to make it through this. Just just got to make it through. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. uh, and he walks over to um, to a cell that contains a, a dwarvish fellow and his dog. Hey, Zorin. Ah, fuck. R remember when you were asking if, if, if Baron were to show up? Uh-huh. Would you like to describe Baron and his dog in the cell? Bar Baron is just kind of like sitting down, all sad, petting, petting him. Sorry, I didn't prepare for a scene. I guess he's just sitting there, just, just, just singing a sad song. He's like, I'm all alone, all by myself. And he looks at Nugget. Like, oh, I'm sorry, Lyle. I didn't mean to. Do I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And now Nugget's sad, so he hugs his dog. He's now in prison and sad. Baron Stackwall, that's you, right? Holmel says hey! as he approaches. Hi, hey, I'm Baron. Right, you say that every time I walk by. Uh, hey. But this will be the last time uh, because we're we're letting you out of here. Yeah, you know that boy. I can finally leave this establishment and finally go forth into do our adventures and get drunk all throughout the town. Come on, boy. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. The the door slowly opens. Uh, Roy, uh, just just get out of here. Have a have they a good life. Away. Yeah, but Baron waddles away. Now get behind. Have Nugget a tolerable takes, like, existence. Uh, Roy, one just just one more cell. Okay, I just gotta, I just gotta survive one more cell to unlock. Speaker D. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Would you like to describe uh, what Hulmul comes upon in the final cell that he has to unlock at this point in Whoa. this past event that I'm totally not regretting? It, it resembles a great mass of a man, 600 pounds, approaching the end of his life, clearly... <laughs> clearly on the way out he has still clutched in his hand a bomb uh i'm not quite sure how that got in i think it's just part of him um and you see uh he is quite quite uh quite dead 
um, as 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 flies buzz about, but these great vein-like protrusions stretching across this swollen, bloated belly. It looks almost as if his stomach is full of eels. Are you describing Bremblo or of a course I'm, or I'm Shoggoth? I don't know. This is Bremblo. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh. uh. Bre Bremblo, are you... You're free to go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you got any fucking avocados? Uh, no, you you may want to... Maybe oh, Granny Sweets has some. You, it's yeah, too yeah. late. The change is upon me. But the path is more glorious than I imagined. It does not stop at a mere single mutation! The form I've been promised is more beautiful than even that! I will float through the air and strike the force of my biomass with my avocado! With all avocado! And he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, where the rot grind, the fever yeah. dream is now over. Uh, Your paralysis demon hey. has now moved on. <laughs> that, that, yeah. is, that is how he. That is not how he dies. That's how he teleports. A, 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 <laughs> an orb emerges from this explosive remains of this biological terror, and you see a centipede-like fleshy mound curtailing about it. It opens its jaw wide before vanishing out between the windows to uh, regenerate yet another Bremblo form to What's continue its life cycle. You know, you know, Chad, I just want all of you to know, I did this scene being like, we'll, we'll, we'll like fucking bring into continuity all of this, we'll round it out, it'll be all okay, it'll all make sense, so last week is in a fucking fever dream, and then it all ties neatly together. <laughs> yeah, CP fucking containment breach here. <laughs> I tried, Chad, I tried. Alright, so we cut away from that flashback, back to a place where maybe I can pretend I have some modicum of power as the GM in this game. Uh, we cut back to the ongoing conflict in the streets. A day later, the where we have left off to to sort of bring everyone up to speed is our destined band of Chucklefox has been engaged in a in a combat along the streets just outside Granny Sweet's restaurant, where several outriders of the Tyrant's Guild, uh, three of them, in fact had made their way down the street along with some of their their foot soldier abasers uh these these troops have been like cutting down civilians and causing terror in the streets uh and we so we've we've been fighting them for a bit that's where we left off last session one of the outriders has been defeated uh and with their defeat a a small uh, glass vial has collapsed onto the ground and shattered releasing some sort of strange incorporeal entity which has begun to marionette the corpse of the outrider uh which has just in fact uh, raised up at the end of our last session as well uh and then there are still there is still however one skeletal horse which um Tannhauser had been mounted upon and hopped off just at the end of our session and yeah that's um that's that's where we are at we are right back into combat as the the fight and the struggle continues after the the revisit of our fever dream and um we start off um the this combat with the the skeletal horse that is uh that is still still intact uh that Tannhauser has has managed to command and maneuver um but but this 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 horse is now is now wild it, it's without anyone giving it proper directions um and so it is going to um it has let's see it has some targets around it that it's uh, going to be looking at as it looks down the street it's got Baldrick and Rahua in front of it as well as Tannhauser who's just hopped off another of the uh the, the Tyrant's Guild outriders to the side of it Orin behind it and then also one of Orin's trees a tree yes the true hero of our age 
and uh, it decides to attack Orin um, first because no! it it randomly assigns a target. This is gone for Orin. Uh, I, so I after tell it for a free action, no. Well, it it like turns around, its jaws raising up, and they they come down on you, Orin, uh, like Blech. attempting to tear into you, trying to make its way out of here, having been rushed into this space, and uh, it makes an attack roll on you. Uh, with a 21, yeah. so it will hit you for a grand total of seven points of damage, which I will apply to you as it, like, bites into you. Uh, and with that, it gets one more attack that it attempts to take at this stage, attempting to, to break its way out. Now, I forget, can your tree take that strike, or? Only if I'm adjacent to it. Ah, so it cannot adjacent. in this case. All right, so yes, it's going to take a multi-attack penalty as it attempts to, to bite through you again. Oh my gosh, it hits you again. Um, rolling another 18 21. for 21. Uh, doing this time uh, well, another seven points of damage. So it is tearing into your flesh as it's biting into you or in this, this like skeletal steed, though it makes no like, you know, typical horse sounds because it doesn't quite have a vocal tract. It, you can hear the jangling of its armor and the, the clucking of its feet on the ground. All right, that, that is its go. And then that brings us to our, our friend Prince du Shelf, who is like looking over at you, Volley, uh, Prince's new captain. Uh, what should I do? The possessed guy, get that spirit off of him, and then you should probably run. Yeah, run, uh, all right. Uh, and he like rushes down to here, taking your advice, um, and attacks, goes to attack the uh. The strange zombified creature that has popped up. He still is obviously very perturbed by the events that have gone on, and he makes an attack roll with his curved blade that is out. Ooh, um, and that will just hit, so he will roll his damage. Ooh, there is a like horrific tearing strike as his blade cuts in uh cuts into this target and you could tell his slashing blade is very effective against this uh this this like possessed corpse that sort of turns towards pros all right that is process go he received his order he moved he attacked that will be it for him <gasps> baldrick my friend you are back up uh and you are you have a riderless horse to the south of you and then um, some various other threats around you. What would you like to do, my friend? Uh, am I intercepted from attacking this one? Uh, which By one? By the smoke cloud. Uh, no, no, no. You, 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 can, you can see it fairly clearly. I'll, I'll give you, like, a path to it from here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, let me take a look and see what would be the most appropriate to cast on this guy. It would probably be... Well, they're probably resistant to fire, so what about his acid? Probably not acid, though. Yeah, we'll go with acid. Go with acid? Because as I recall, uh, Kryn threw a lightning bomb at them, and that was no good. Kryn threw a... Uh, did Globetuck throw an acid bomb last time? Uh, acid, yes, and acid seemed to be be effective. It seemed like, and you you would have enough knowledge to know, like it seemed like a lot of the elements that weren't acid are, aren't particularly effective against these. Okay, but this guy up north is also taking care. Uh, this is difficult, because I could just try to beat this guy down over here, because he's pretty low. Yes, the one to the north of you is still immobilized, but it, it will get one more turn after. Like, basically, it will stop being immobilized at the start of its next turn, so. Because you had locked it in place and prevented it from moving last time. But it's uh, the rider and the mount are, like, cutting through all of the, the webbing, and that was their last action. So you know that they'll be out of it and ready to uh, join the fight. Damn. Bad positioning. Let me think. Real quick, because we got that guy there, we got the horse there, we got the rider and the horse there, and we got potentially guy getting out there. You know what? Uh, I'm going to move one up here, so that way this horse can't attack me. Yeah, step. And so that this guy can't do anything really either because of the blockage. I'm yeah, gonna take the, I'm gonna take the rider north on. 
Okay, yeah, so you step up, so that blocks any attacks of opportunity if it had it. Uh, and then, yeah, you have two actions left. What would you like to do? Stepping, I'm just moving one up, so I'm out of okay. range of that thing, and then I'm going to throw, or I'm going to craft and throw an acid bomb. Absolutely. Bomb. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, make your attack on it. I'm just going to craft one. Sure thing. Da, 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 da. You begin brewing. And I gotta, gotta equip it, because it's like, oh, you don't have that equipped. Yes, I do. Be silent. All right, target. And strike eight. Go! Oops. Go! Rule. That'll be an 18 with a hit. That's good. That will, good enough. That will absolutely hit it. You can tell you're hitting it just because you've still got it immobilized at this point, so that has helped out quite a bit. All right, and now damage. Be something useful. Ah, oh, for gripe's sake. Okay, so so this is okay. So remember, three. Like you're not actually rolling a dice here, so you'll do three damage to it. Which uh, were you aiming for the rider or the horse in this case? And did I roll that? Uh, you don't roll because acid is only persistent roll. You just do your right, right, right. Just made it needed to make sure that. Uh, confirming though, were you going for the rider or the horse here? I was going for the horse because the horse okay. appears to be the one that's wounded. I assume. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the riders, just as a reminder to everyone here, I've got the riders just off on these buildings. So yeah, I'm hitting the horse first. first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what will happen here is you will do your splash damage to the horse. You will also do it to the rider here, mm -hmm. and then uh, because Foundry is super cool, I drag this over, and we now have the persistent acid damage. Um, I should also remind that this one down here also has persistent acid damage from Gleb Talk. So that was how you saw it was uh, previously effective. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how best to spread the damage. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good. All right, so that brings us uh, to an end for your turn. E hang on, people are messaging me and blocking the end turn button. There you oh. go. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so that brings us to this zombified citizen, though in this case it's the Outrider. This spectral thing behind it, it kind of like animates its, or more like directs it like a puppet. Its hands come up, uh, and his gauntlets begin thrashing around towards our uh, our dear prostitute shelf as he swings uh, several times at the elf. Oh, Ooh. and I roll a natural one. So, like, the ah. first one, like, Prance definitely dodges out of the Is that all you've got? And then uh, the, the, the creature attacks again um, and rolls worse. And then it does uh, another action, like, as this thing sort of strings it out. We're at one crit fail already. This way. Yeah. Uh, and it like, sort of like lumbers towards the larger group of all of you, uh, moving away from Prance, who does not have attack of opportunity, so is not taking a free strike on that. All right. Uh, this thing is now moving into the, the, the wider combat volley. You see this happen. Um, uh, you see that, that Prance has like, dodged the attacks, has done some damage to it. Uh, but yeah, you are, you are now in a situation where you can choose what you would like to do. So please tell me. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, well, we do definitely de need to deal with these horses, but the zombie is an issue. Um, let's see, have I got panache? I forgot if I... Okay, I do have it. Um, so I do get to move a little quicker. 35 would get me here. Um, so I believe I would just leave the zombie to our friends. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to keep going at the writers. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to be flanking with Rahua. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, the silly horse. The big horse. Uh, and I already have Panache, so I am going to attack the rider. Uh, is this oh. the, the, this guy? Uh, so so um, the, that would be this fellow here. Oh, okay. uh, which would not, you would not be flanking if you were there. You'd probably want to move, like, beside Orin to flank that way. So you have, like, yeah. a straight line through. Uh, uh, or wait, is this, is this, uh... The oh, one that the has, the token that has, yeah, the token that has the horse face is just the horse. The token oh, okay. that has the, the two is the, is, like, rider horse. Gotcha. So in that case, I'll probably be there. Yeah, and just when you're targeting, make sure to target the, the token. This guy. Yeah. Yep. Sweet, sweet. As you right. definitely rush through Crunch and and uh, Dr. Krim, uh, Crunch still on his back, uh, wiggling around. Oh, 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 my turtle friend. Oh, oh, Miss Vali, I'll be there to help you in just a moment as you, like, rush by. You got a Crunch, I believe. And I'm just going to uh, just 
run past and uh, just vault upward and aim a stab upward at this rider, hitting him with a finisher. Absolutely. It's a oh, 24 to hit him. Hit. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit, so give me that sweet, sweet damage. That damage. Uh, Ooh, that's decent. Good. That's 12 points of damage. Yeah, so you do like a, a really like striking blow. The, the rider kind of controls the mount, turns towards you. The face mask and the eyes through through which glare down at you. Uh, and to farm some panache, as I've like jumped up onto his horse, I'm just going to plant a foot on its neck and kick off. Uh, and to a do a backflip. Do a backflip. All right. I'm gonna, Every day. I'm gonna hit him with a backflip. Hit me with that backflip, yo. Flip. Flip onto the ground. Uh, that is an 18. That is enough. Yeah, you you, you do a, a fine maneuver, uh, kind of going into its space and then like flying back to, to keep your panache. All right. Uh, at the... I'll give him a smile and a wink and point my sword up at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, at that point, you also lose that, uh, that point of frightened now. So you yeah, ain't scared no more. You did a flip. Yeah, yeah. If you want to pass your turn on, Valley, that will bring us next in the order to Orin. Orin's, Orin's all bitten up and bloody and looks to Valley and goes, It's Valley. I'm not. What's up, Orin? I'm not feeling so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder. No. You're my first mate, Orin. You've got this. Dude. And then she stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> the pirate's code. I always knew you turned on me. You should probably stand next to the tree, though. <laughs> Is that, that's right. I'm so sick and tired of the city. <laughs> Every, everywhere what? I've gone, it's just been, it's, it's all of this. What's wrong with you people? It's like I'm so so not gonna tell you to live it. And as his voice begins to change, he will wild shape uh, into a bear so that he can be done with this. <laughs> Let me click. <laughs> this shitteth be doneth. <laughs> yeah, this shitteth be doneth. Let me do this awesome thing where I could just drag Bear over onto Orin. Bloop. He is now shapeshifted. <laughs> Fortunately, you do not get free HP when you shapeshift in the in Pathfinder 2E. You just get hope it works. Point, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just hope it works out. But I do get five temporary HP out of it. So bam, two actions, boom, become a bear, and then immediately you're like I need to do damage to one of these things. I want to hit one of the, uh, the horsemen that's right in front of him that was biting the hell out of him. And so okay, so they, this is just the horse. This one to the left here is the one that was biting you. Oh, it's the one to the left? Okay. That, and that's also, just a horse, no rider. The one right north of you is rider and horse. The rider okay. is just off to the side here if you want to target. What I get, uh, what I put, make the left one flat-footed technically, or no? Uh, you would make, yeah, like, yeah, you, um, wait, no, you wouldn't make this one flat-footed, but this All right, one. get no, the one I get flat-footed, then. Yeah, the, okay, yeah, the one in front of you. Are you attacking the rider or the mount? Uh, the mount. Okay, so, yeah, just target the, the main icon and go ahead. Yeah, I got it. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah so basically come in and then immediately just try to bite the hell out of it. Just tries to go for it next, starts tearing it down. And we'll do a jaw attack first. Big old bite. I'm oh. going to use a hero point because What did you roll? Zorin the a bear. One. I rolled a one. <laughs> Thank you. We're at two. I rolled a oh. three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I use it as a hero point? No, you is can't. That, that is not how the rules work. You may only just, do one reroll. You are not so I'd epic say, that you can yeah. just ignore your own Please rules. Please mark yourself down from three hero points to two and pass your turn, fail bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In my turn. Shame. <laughs> Fail. Right. Fail. Well, um, all right, Baldric. Um, the one in front of you is no longer immobilized. It has ended that effect. Um, it will go, and um, he spends a command to. He spends an action to issue a command. Um, to his horse. Uh, in this case, uh, he's going to use his ability, which we've previously seen as as this like rider to the north sort of like stirs on this acid-drenched skeletal horse. 
The riffraff shall fall here, and your corpses will be mounted on spikes. And he moves himself to the south as he does this, uh, directing directing the horse. I require... Um, let's see here. Yes. I require some will uh, saves. I will require will saves from uh, Rahua, Tannhauser, and Baldrick. Ah, but all the bad guys always want us on spikes. Uh, actually, wait. Spikes. No, never mind. I just need to know your will DCs. That's that's the one. Not. I don't need you to make will saves. I just need to know what your your will DC is, which will be ten plus uh, seventeen. Okay. Ten plus mine. Yeah. Ten. Ten plus your. Um, ten plus your your will bonus. Your will save. Oh, so sixteen. 16, K okay. and Rahua. 19. All right, so yeah, he um, he does this, and all of you are sort of taken aback. You're, you're, you're fighting um, creatures to the to the south. You're fighting the, the, the two that are sort of like sandwiched between you, and this one is now broken free of its bonds, moves down, uh, and kind of like startles all of you. Um, rolled pretty well, so each of you just gains the frightened condition for one round. They're stealing my gimmick. They are. Um... As, as, like, he comes come south, he's directed the, the, the mount towards you, Baldrick. That was his first action. Uh, the mount, however, does get to take two actions as a result and will um, attempt to bite you as it comes down. So, All right, this, uh, here we go. Yeah. Boop. That's three ones. That's three, that's, that's three <laughs> natural ones. Uh, it comes careening into, like, the side of Grandma Sweet's... Um, Entry entryway smashing into the sign. It's like acid spraying out from where you've struck it with the bomb. The sign is swinging back and forth. Um, the 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 horse is done. The rider is attempting to maintain control. Uh, still has two actions left and takes uh, its uh, second action to attack you with their flail, sort of like bringing it down towards you, Baldrick, as as the horse. You know, mm. has has its issues. Uh, we'll hit you um, because you are now frightened, so we'll strike you uh, with their flail for grand total of five points of damage, so I'll mark that Clunch. on you, uh, and then attempts to uh, do a second attack uh, with their final action. And misses that you, um, yeah. As the, the like, the chain is kind of hitting into the signpost and whacking around all around you. Uh, crunch, my my good friend. Oh, and yes, the uh, the persistent acid damage will then affect the horse. So they are still uh, the, the the horse is still dissolving under your acid bomb. It looks incredibly wounded now, um, and is still quite acided. All right, so that brings us to Crunch, who uh, after much, much trial and tribulation, does manage to get up. Um, Ooh. Oh, uh, 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 how, how can I best uh, b- b- resist? Get the horse. Uh, b- oh, uh, the horse, yes, of course. That one! Right, right. Of course. Of course. All right, good. I've I've done it. All right. Uh, so Crunch moved twice to get he done it because his ar- armor burdens him incredibly, uh, and that's Crunch's go. Good. The rider beside you, Oren. Uh, Oren, you have turned into a, to a bear. That is correct. Volley, Volley, however, has been the one to actually strike him. Uh, so the rider. Oh, just rub it in, why don't you? Yeah, fairly confused as to who. So the rider is going to spend an action to direct the horse to attack you twice, while the rider is going to focus efforts on uh, Volley. Hell yeah. So uh, I will start off by having the horse that is uh, in front of you uh, chomp at you twice, Orin. So the first set of jaws come down uh, for 24. So I believe that hits. hits. Uh, hits you for 11 points of damage. That'll do it, Mega Man. Or the bear is slain. Oh. Or in, yeah, uh, you still have those temporary, so I think those uh, those got got chunked out there first. Uh, a second set of jaws come towards you now. Yeah. Uh, or a second still jaw holding. attack as it makes a secondary attack. Not that time. Misses uh, critically misses in fact. So you, your your bear form manages to dodge out of the way. As this is going on, the rider, however, is now uh, taken the opportunity to um, take some attacks on Volley in hopes of uh, potentially bringing Volley down. Um, first attack uh, comes in. Whoop. 
Ooh, with a, uh, a strong to hit there. So Budge, that's uh, that's all hit. Mm. Uh, it's going to do eight points of damage to you, Volley, uh, and then a second uh, attack with the second action. Uh, we'll uh, just I'm going to well. nimble dodge. Oh. Yeah, nimble dodge that. So yeah, you you managed to dodge out of the way of the flail as it comes back for a second second round of attacks on you uh, and misses uh, entirely with that. Okay. That brings us... Oh, and then the acid goes off on the uh, horse, uh, which continues to have acid chew into it, doing a good amount of damage, and the acid is still chewing into the horse. Uh, this brings us to Dr. Krim, who's looking around like, ah, ah! Uh, and Dr. Krim and Glub talk sort of back off. Uh, Dr. Krim targets the the strange zombified cr- like creature with one of her uh, bombs and tosses it. It goes out. It strikes, in fact, um, critically striking because this, this thing doesn't have good armor class because it's a <laughs> shambling zombie. So this smashes into it, um, the electricity arcing all over it. Uh, ooh, doing 10 points of damage. Boop. And also doing uh, some... No, no, that's it. And flat foot. So the, the zombified corpse kind of starts staggering in place as this incorporeal spirit is trying to maneuver it, but it's just stuck there, spasming slightly. And then you you hear the the, the telltale uh, words of Glubchak, help! Um, and Glubchak proceeds to uh, toss a vial at the skeletal rider. Uh, or, sorry, at the skeletal mount uh, that is engaged with uh, several people. Uh, and uh, Glub Talk tosses a uh, small acid flask. That uh, little Glub shit Talk is going to get it. Glub Talk will strike the target. Um, Glub Talk's the type of homie you need when the, in the club to hold your hair. <laughs> Glub, Glub Talk, help! Uh, Glub Talk will cause acid to splash in a in a very uh, wide area, hitting, uh, affecting both Volley, Oren, and Crunch. As uh, Acid Glob-talk begins. ain't helping. <laughs> Glob talk help! And he like turns to you, Oren, and gives you like a thumbs up as the acid spray hits you. Glob talk help! Big thumbs up. Uh, Baldrick is going to turn around real quick and point directly at Krim while he is, like, dodging flail blows. Stop giving him grenades! He just takes them! He does what he wants! Move him somewhere else! And she, like, tries to spend, like, what remains of her time, like, just, like pinning down Glubtok, who's moving <laughs> around her shoulders and, like, looking at Orin, like, Glubtok, help! Simpson strangling. Ten so you're up. All right. So this orange health bar does it represent the horse or the rider or horse. the horse? Because the, horse. the rider is over here. Yeah, I... the riders are off in the sides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I could do something crazy, or I could do something useful. Um, which would which would we all prefer? How much hero point do you got? Three. I got three hero point. Good. All right. Oh, so do I now? Apparently. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's rock then. I'm still on the horseback, right? No, no, at the end, you sort of, like, hopped off it as you, you got there. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I am going to do the following. I'm going to take out my grappling hook. My grappling gun, I should say. Okay. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Uh, and I'm going to fire it at this rider. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. I, I, I can get behind this, okay. Yeah, let's rock. So uh, what, what exactly would I have to roll? Would you say, like, I have a hand crossbow. Would you let me know to roll that? I'll let you roll the attack. So so just target the rider here. And yeah. Then just make the attack. Cool, cool. All right. No ammunition assigned. That's awesome. Let's get ammo there. It doesn't matter. I'm not actually shooting it. Just... Ba-doo. That would oh. just be a miss. Oh man, a 19. You have three hero points. I yeah. will have to reroll. All so right, we... do it up. Cool, cool. It's because of the frightened too. Yeah, that's. 
That literally okay, was just enough to be better. Oh, yeah. that was so close. Okay, I yes. got him. So you'll you'll you will you will latch on with your uh, with your shot. So the, the grapple is on. Um, I, I if you want to like dismount this fellow, which I assume is your plan here. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is the following, and it's insane. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Can we come off of the Bremblo centipede? I'm please, sorry. please. I, can't, I simply can't stop, you understand? Uh, fair. I am, stop this man. I'm going to then dimensional assault teleport to on top of this horse. Okay. And with my third action, I am going to um, wrap the grappling hook. Uh, well, actually, I get to hit the horse first. With my normal just attack DC, would you give me a? Would I? Would I suffer from the attack? Uh, uh, what is it? Fuck up, evil bad. What? Would I? Would I suffer from Most the attack? attack yeah, uh, yes, yeah, because it is an attack. Because shooting is an attack, so you'll take oh. the minus five. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, okay. Ha ha! Cool. Uh -huh. So you uh -huh. appear on the horse, attempt to, to like stab it. I'm also going to, because you're attempting to appear on top of a horse. Uh, please give me a, um, oh gosh, an acrobatics check. You got it. Because you've got to like balance on this horse that also has acid on it while the rider is swinging at Baldrick. I'm going to activate my nanite, sir, since this is important. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Collins football, you know. Uh, mm, I, may, oh. I may need to rock another reroll. You you can. It's a separate roll, and you do. You need. I'm gonna say it's a 15 just to keep oh, your shit you. going here. There you go. There you hey. go. Hey. Nice, nice, okay. nice. Okay. So yeah, yeah. You you hold on. You 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 teleport over. You try to take a swing at the uh, the horse, but it doesn't quite go. Uh, you manage to to balance on this thing, and I assume with your last action, you want to pull the guy towards you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the rope essentially around the horse's neck. Okay. Um, oh, it might be cool to wrap it around the guy's neck. Uh, and yeah, I just wanna, <laughs> I wanna wrap it around this horse's neck. And I'm hoping that it will allow it to panic and start running. Um, would you allow me to try an intimidate check? Um, okay, so... They're, they're the kind of like thing, constructs, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. The thing you know is that these are like mindless like horses, right? So they're, 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 they're like mental effects aren't really going to work here. Um, I, I'm probably going to say, though, like what is what is your you want this horse to to run off? Essentially, what I want to do is I want to have my grappling hook on this guy. I want to then get this horse to just start moving quickly. And I want to yoink that guy and drag him around the floor. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, you've you've basically got your grappling hook on this guy, or on this horse, I should say, and you're trying to get on this guy here to the southeast, like the grappling hook's on him. Um, I think what you'll need to do as like the the final part of this to to let you get away with some baby back bullshit here, uh, probably what you'll need to do is some kind of test to like very quickly like actually tie it um so let's see here what do you what do, what do you have that fucking is about yeah sure. you know what sure that's like that 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 seems about as appropriate as anything and it's a <laughs> decent skill you have absolutely i would say like crafting or yeah hey 20 yeah, sure. So uh, you're basically going to tie it up. Basically, what's going to happen is now the decide on the rider's turn, he's going to he's going to make a, a check to see if he resists the horse pulling in. So, Fair enough. There we go. Baby back yeah. bullshit. Hell yeah. All right. I love cool. it. I love it. My man. OK, uh, if you want to end your turn. Uh, oh, yeah, and as well. he has that, uh, you're frightened to go down. Hey. You were, like you completely succeeded and kicked ass in fact uh you did so much fucking craziness there you're like yeah like what could possibly go wrong um and then like duhakis dies apparently because i clicked the death token uh no uh duhakis looks around the the, the gargoyle lady like soul binders uh, evil, uh, vile undead oh, oh help me <laughs> out pretty elf boy and she runs behind pross help is there something I should know? I don't say. 
If you if you stab them and kill them, right, they'll just take over another corpse. You have to deal with the, the ghost. Care to elaborate on how? It, it, magic uh, ghost. Um, who uh, oh, you're up? Oh, I am up, aren't I? Yeah, you're you're standing in like smoke from um from Baldrick's prior uh, smoke stick. Uh, you've got like a wild skeletal horse in front of you. You have a grappling hook like tether that's like between you and like the this rider it's kind of like straddling the way um it's there's a lot going on around you also orin's a bear there's a joke there about that but i don't want to yeah. i don't want to make it right now <laughs> so uh seeing the ever-present chaos around me normally this is chaos that Rahu would be okay with given you know his existence i think the best course of action would be to beat the ever-loving fuck out of this horse and its rider so i'm gonna go sicko mode i'm gonna attack him with the mossy mace on the rider or the horse uh well if they, huh? they share a health pool <laughs> no no so 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 the the horse is the token that's here and then the riders i have off to the side right over right. here yes. well let's let's deal with the the small health bar at hand Let's just make an attack okay. against that for right now. Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm going to eat this. Uh, target the horse and eat the horse. The target is locked. Here we go. <laughs> the nozzle. The nozzle. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, Next number. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, so your mace comes up and you um, like smash it down. You'd actually hit by nine because you are flanking, which I forgot to put in there. So there we go. Um, Thank you. But uh, yeah, you'll you'll hit. Please roll me damage. Absolutely. Here we go. Try me again, Thurston. What is the crit <laughs> threshold? Uh, plus ten. Okay. So if if Rahua had not uh, been frightened and had had rolled that, he would have crit. Uh, but in this case, he less did not because he is still a scared tree boy. Uh, okay, so yeah, three points of damage onto the to the horse. You, you kind of like smash into it with the the, the mace. It. Unlike uh, some of the other weapons, it doesn't appear uh, to have any resistance to your bludgeoning. So your bludgeoning is just, like, hammering into it. Kill. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep making attacks against this. <laughs> I'm gonna go sicko mode, hits it for three damage. <laughs> <laughs> dish, 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 dish. I appreciate You gotta I do what you gotta do. I really appreciate the Rahua cleric. Like, I have positive energy for under. Fuck that hammer. Dish, dish, dish. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna immediately backtrack on what I said. Because mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. our teammate's not super well off. Because you're also like, holy shit, I'm a spellcaster. <laughs> do I need uh, to be the healer again? <laughs> We're just gonna mult we're just gonna multi class, it's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hulk Hulky's fine. Hulky just needs reminding sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out a little bit of heal. Actually, am I able to do that? I oh. You you've oh. used an action. You have two That's actions true. left. You could do a distance heal, um, for the, the twofer. Uh I will I will do that. Okay, so who Actually, would you like to do? Sure can we I take, can we take, so a, can we take a rest in the middle of combat? Of yeah, course, guys. Yeah. Can we just take a timeout real quick? <laughs> you know what? No. Good. Hold on, I stopped by Tokyo. Can we just, can we table this for about five seconds? Oh my god. Alright, so, um, you would then be healing, uh, D8 plus 8. And you could I pick will. one target within, what, 30 feet? I always forget the exact range on this. On the second one. Yeah, 30 feet. So, anyone within 30 feet? Well, of course, that's going to be my good friend Orin the Bear. Ran the bear. Target him. Heal you him. can also use it on undead and damage. Oh, them. that's so good. So oh, but nine. you know what? I have a hero point for that. Yeah, that only applies to D20s, my oh, friend. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wrecked. I mean, Damn, it's, it's, it's really one plus eight. eight. Yeah, it's it? one plus eight. Yeah, it's one yeah. plus eight. Yeah. You, get, yeah, you, get, you get nine points of health. With a two action you go. I got you. I got you, one. For a two oh, action heal, all. you can heal nine hit points. Boop. He, he could have healed like 16. Yeah, uh, you're, you're, you're healing light. I assume that like you've got this like healing light coming out of you, and at the last minute, like the the rope from the grappling hook just smacks you in the side of the head. Ah. What the right. hell? If you would like to end your turn, Rahua. Yeah, I can't metagame anymore. 
Oh, I know. All right, I'm wild horse. Solar Titan too long. <laughs> wild horse <laughs> continues to to fucking wildly attack. Um, that's wild. It's wild. Wild. I just got HP. You can't take me on. I'm gonna fuck it up. It would be so funny if it like ran right into like you know the grappling hook line, like you know in the space behind Ryu. Would that be? Cool? It'd be funny if it just died. Would be. It'd be great if the yeah, GM rolled some dice privately. I did. Oh no. Hello, Oren. It's going to attack you again. <laughs> Jaws come down. Gets a four. a four. I fail. Suck it. Second attack. Also fail. I'm gonna roll a twenty here. Here it comes. Ah. I was close, but no. It was a seventeen. Seventeen. Miss, miss. It's like flailing around trying to bite you, but now you're a strong bear and higher gravity makes it harder to hit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's the wild horse. Prance is like, all right, uh, Mr. Hackies, we should be going this way. Come, come on, mon ami. And uh, he sort of like takes Duhaka's orders. Run away. Following Volley's last orders. Baldric, you're up. So okay, so let me think here. are on the horse in front of you that is currently, like, covered in acid, um, standing right beside a smoky area with Rahua in it with a wild horse to yourself. So let me ask something. If I move away from this horse and rider, am I going to incur an uh, attack of opportunity, despite the, the fact he's tangled up? The only time that would happen is if the creature has attack of opportunity, because not everyone innately has attacks of opportunity. Well, you said previously that moving away would not incur attack of opportunity. I needed to clarify that. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So, sorry, 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 sorry. Stepping away is you, like, being predictive. Um, I think in the past we've kind of um, clarified these specific NPCs don't have attacks of opportunity, so you're good to just take a move. I am going to narratively declare something stupid, perhaps. Oh, good, good. Remind me, yeah, Thurston, uh, does yes. necrotic damage heal undead? Oh, are you looking to use a necrotic bomb? I'm asking. Okay, so the way that it works is there's two types of, like, positive and negative. Um, essentially, if... If it, like, if it's damage, typically undead are immune to it, but they won't get healed by it. There's, like, certain things that will say, like, healed, like, healed by negative energy or healed by positive or damaged by positive. Um, so generally speaking, unless it specifies that it heals something, the necrotic bomb would not, like, heal it, but it might damn, like, it wouldn't damage it because it's immune to okay, it. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essay answer. Okay, hey, I need to take something else. I have used three charges this entire combat, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three, so I've got four left. I need to think. I'll tell you what, because... Hey, Speaker, would you say you have this guy handled, or shall I help you? Um, I think I've got him handled. One can only hope. Uh, in that case... Thurston, would you say that if I perhaps had a... You'd say these are more constructs, right? Um, I would say they're they're undead, so they're construct, they're mindless undead. It's but they would have exactly. had to have been put together, correct? Yes. And they are skeletal underneath, correct? Yes, he's leading me down a path, chat. This is always dangerous. I'm asking you. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm asking. Okay. I'm not telling you how to play this. Of course. Would you say that if I were to, say, make an engineering check, I could discover a fault? You know what? Yeah, I would I would allow that here. Then I'm going to try for that, because, of course, this, that would be a standardized, you know, standardized thing. So I would assume that I'm going to just kind of do a quick check here, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to use a check. hero point for that? No, no, no. You can I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, 17. Will that suffice, or shall I roll again with a hero point? Ah, okay, so you're looking for, like, structural flaws in these things? Not something that's like a Death Star vent port, yeah. but definitely something that would not respond well to a type of attack. 
yeah, you can tell that you might be able to, like, like, if you struck it in a very specific area, you might be able to be more effective with, like, bludgeoning damage or any of the types of damage that it's not normally um, resistant to, which, with your check, you would be able to tell that it would be, like, cold electricity, fire, piercing, or slashing would not be super effective. Okay, well, I have a blunt weapon, let me think. So that's one action. Yes. What would this position be? Um, kind of like just under its, uh, like where its neck is, it seems to be fairly, uh, fair, fairly open and susceptible. That being said, as this happens, the, uh, the fires all begin to sputter and die out as, uh, it starts to rain. Very good. I love rain. It's, it smells nice. Helps wick away the stink of garbage. Garbashio. So with that in mind, uh, Thurston, I am going to try to coach Rahua a little bit on some engineering faults. Okay, yeah. And by that I mean I'm going to move up to this horse and strike it in the aforementioned spot that I just remembered. Okay. Try to, being the operating word. I cannot move. Why not? There we go. I target, and I'm going to just strike with club. uh, Will I incur a penalty for attacking that specific spot? Uh, it won't take penalties, but you'll get flanking, so I've applied it. Um, and when you attack, it, when you attack it, when you attack it, um, if you hit, you'll just you do extra with its weakness. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna swing my club because it's yeah. it's, um, it's weak to club. Weak to club. Blunk, Blunk damage. Swing and a four is not acceptable, so I'm gonna reroll that with a hero point. Absolutely. Ba-ba-ba-ba. Sorry, I had to put on all three hero points there. Yeah, you're good. Reroll. Uh, the hero point. Be better. Not really. Twelve. Uh, no, no. So, so you identify, you move, you attack, but last year attack just misses the. The horse is like bucking uncontrollably. Its attempts to attack Orin make it really difficult to hit. Ah. It will be your go, Baldrick. Is it? It is. You've taken your three actions. Please pass on the turn. No, I don't think um, I will. Now that the, the electricity is somewhat uh, faded on the uh, the strange zombified body, it uh, continues to move up and uh, comes up behind you, Oren. Ah! The spectral figure, like, maneuvers the hands to, like, claw towards you of this deceased outrider. Um, and it, like, it seems to be speaking um, with this, like, wha- raspy tone. Souls! Your soul! Uh, and it goes to attack you. <laughs> What's your offer? <laughs> Fifteen. Now uh, that'll hit you. Uh, four. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, one sec. It will hit you for... Uh, I f- apparently didn't input the damage correctly. One second. It's going to hit you for... For a lot of damage, I swear, as I just pull up the document that... Okay, cool. Um, Zombie! It was 2d6? Nah, d6 plus 3. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, okay. So So much for the heal. Grabs you from behind. um, So moves, does that, and then... um, Bally! Bally, I don't want to (laughs) die. Getting murdered. Oh, what's your fortitude save, my friend? Uh, my fortitude save is exactly 19. Okay, so it grabs you. Oh no, grappling! It's grappled! <laughs> grappling you rolls! You no! grappled! You are grabbed, you have the grabbed condition, sir! You need me to get that for you? <laughs> Would help if I, yeah, 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 one sec. I, I tried I to, that like, you. drag... Okay, I tried I to drag you. the condition onto you, and it, like, put the condition as a token on the map for some reason. I'm like, oh, no, I, I grab the condition just entered the fight. <laughs> yeah. grabbed. Oh, no, Mr. Crab just entered the fight. Fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so like, you're, 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 you're fending off these two, these two steeds, Orin, like, once right, uh, then this zombie fuck comes up behind you, grabs you, tears into your, sh- your bare ursine shoulders, and blood is coming out, and it's pulled you back. Uh, that is this thing's go. Um, Volley, you are you are up in this cacophony of madness. Oh God! All right. Well, um, 
Can you do something about that zombie? Currently see fear in Orin's bear oh, eyes oh my as he's gosh. trying to fend no. away. You, you know, you see like those panicked bears or whatever. They're like, oh shit, like, oh shit. Like he's basically that with the horse and the zombie as he's going back and forth to slashing. Oh, Only you can help me this thing. Baby boy. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around on this zombie. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, stab through its arm, trying to wrench it off of, uh, Orin. You can, uh, go behind it so you can flank it. That is true. Uh, oh. but that would use an action. <laughs> yes. Um, that would use an action, and I do definitely oh, want to... Oh, that zombie still flat-footed. Uh, uh, no, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. I'm sorry, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 thank you. I don't imagine it has an extremely high AC, so I don't think I need to flank it. Yeah. Roll um, the two. Roll the two. I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to stab his ass. Your yeah. violence won't do. <sighs> you That's crit. critical. Crit. Yay. Yeah, you crit the this bomb. Uh, with a finisher, I assume. With a finisher, of course. We got a crit. Uh, that wasn't extremely good crit damage, but 18. Uh, it's more than that thing has. Probably. Well, no damage uh, that I can do. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're piercing, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you're piercing. That's right. That's cool. I you like gotta quit doing this to me, Thurston. <laughs> no, I gotta do oh. that to you. Oh, okay. uh, for those of you who are listening, you can see the tiny nubbin of the health remaining oh. as you have like pierced perfectly through this thing, uh, like causing most of the tethers to come up, but this spectral creature is holding on by one little nubbin holding its uh, zombified corpse upright in place. I despise this little bastard. I'm going to shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I use gun. <laughs> it's not better than the rapier, but this time it's personal. <laughs> I, I, please misfire. <laughs> Just like, I'm going to cry. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. Multi attack. Yes. <laughs> Bang. Bang. No. <laughs> uh, that'll hit. That'll hit. All right, damage. Please run me damage. It's very imp. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it all. <laughs> you rolled a one. I'm your doling. How many? Like you hit it. Oh my. You hit it. You hit it. But the rolled one damage. I'm here for for podcasts. But Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> Wait, there it's still so fucking alive! <laughs> it's still <so> fucking alive! <laughs> we roll the damage I see the sliver of the fucking oh, XP! It's the way the cookie fucking crumbles. Can, can, can I re-roll the damage of the hero point? You cannot! He only! Uh, we'll punch it, no. <laughs> Zoran, make a tiny baby noise. <laughs> Good. Vali, uh, what you. would you like your third action to be? Third action Attack over. him! You need to kill it before Lauren dies! <laughs> he almost certainly only has one HP. What if I just punched it? Because You still suffer map. Minus eight. Yeah, you still but suffer eight map. rather than ten. I fucking, yeah, just punch him. I don't know. Kill it. <laughs> okay, Thurston, you got to tell me if it has more than one HP left. It has no. one HP. <laughs> Just do it. Don't you have do to. Anything, Oda Roshi Rider. You can find out and stop meta game. No, it has one fucking HP left. You did one oh, damage and it cut the amount of health it had left in half. It has I'm one health. I'm just gonna cock back a fist and punch it in the face. You could, you could certainly do that. Whether or not <laughs> that is the best opportune action you have, I mean. Is it a multi-attack penalty at 10 or 5? Uh, it's multi-attack minus 8 for an unarmed, minus 10 for a rapier or a pistol shot. Can you I'll let her Are you punch. a monk? No. Okay, cool. Does, does the punch do non-lethal damage? No, I hate you. I'm going to stab it. <laughs> Erndil, Erndil, Erndil. 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 Just, like, punches the zombie. Great. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. I have to watch out for our... Out. Listen, I hate you people, but I have to watch out for you. <laughs> <laughs> ha!
Hostile GM. Hostile GM. <laughs> Hostile. <Yeah. Fuck. laughs> well, I, I can't. You're lucky. Into I... that, so yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to stab it. Um, Thurston, we'll you're lucky. I fucking. Longer. You're lucky I fucking hear oh, anything because if that went through and it's like, mm. oh, it was non-lethal damage, I would say, oh, actually, GM, I think you were fine. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a hero point. I feel like it's worth it. How much please. is it? How much is it missing by? Please. Uh, we don't know. We don't know it's AC. Oh god. We don't know roll. it's AC, but it, we know that it's not super high. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's oh, not good. Oh god. That's better. <laughs> we. miss. Damn it. I fucking love you. Like, none of you change, please. None of you. Okay, so you roll a five, and you roll a two. What, what's yeah. never been mentioned is that this, uh, before becoming a zombie, the citizen was a Navy SEAL. Uh, <laughs> this is literally the outrider that you killed, Tannhauser. This is just... That one Wait, brought back to life. Remember Warhammer's fantasy campaign? That one uh, uh, protagonist guy that we were punching in the tavern? <laughs> oh my He's god! Finally He's finally back. back. He's back. <laughs> back right. from All the right. dead. Fine. That was my three actions. I'm going to look at this guy and be like, You are one tough son of a bitch, and I hate you. I just love the expression on that token, too. It's just, uh, that's the expression it gives you back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Thurston, the, I think you will find that what Odo, what Odo just said is a taunt, so please have a roll intimidate. <laughs> Fuck, Oren, pass the turn. Oren, it's you. <laughs> that it. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, Oren, who's scared out of his mind because he's not been in this deadly of a situation before. Yeah. Is that like just out of just pure fear? He's lashing out. So first, um, just run away. The first he's gonna have to kill. He can't run away. He's grappled. He's grabbed. So he has, he has kill to kill him. the. Um, he's gonna, he's going after the guy first. He's gonna bite the shit out of the zombie. You know, you're, <laughs> and he just tries to get away, and he is going to roll a seventeen, which does hit. It does will kill hit. him. It, is, it will kill him, and he will do. 15 points of damage. Okay, okay. A few things happen. Good. The zombie Jeez. corpse collapses to the ground. The incorporeal figure remains in the space. Is it oh, having mother grapple? Fuck! <laughs> but it's not grabbing you anymore because it's incorporeal. Actually, you so. need to, I think you need to roll a d20 for me because I was grappled to see if my attack Seeds or not, I think. Oh. Um, yeah, one, one sec. Um, or do you want to just bullshit me. it away? Because we just got to this point. Um, if you attempt to manipulate. Yeah, just roll a roll a d20. Yeah. Okay, you're I saw good. that too. Yeah, We're good. 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 Alright. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's flailing around and he's kind of scared out of his wits. <laughs> I'm going to roll basically odds is horse and even is spectral thing. Wait, how are you immobilized again? Special thing. No, no, no longer. Uh, oh, it says you're immobilized on the thing, though. Oh. No, yeah. that means the foot means flat-footed. That means yeah, it's okay. flanked. Can Can you please just run instead? Don't be Don't get mauled to death by whatever this thing. He's gonna do the graveyard suck on you. you know what? Fine, I'll have him. I'll have him run. Okay. Five. He's gonna run over this. <laughs> he's gonna run over this way, behind okay. the uh, barrels and stuff, and he will dismiss the bear form. <laughs> Thank okay. you. As his oh final gosh. action. Okay. Sweet. And take off left footed. There we go. And that will be the end of Orin's turn. He's like, you just hear, just, just you. It's just fear. He just, he's running. He doesn't want to be near this. He's behind a barrel. Just, just is he saying anything? Guys. Like, is he's running? No, he, he's just huffing and puffing. He's getting out of there. <laughs> okay. No more. All right. Uh, so we have the writer that's with Tannhauser right now. Duel of the Fates. We're having, a, we're having a, a little bit of a quality time here. Oh, my gosh. Um. Okay. Well, um, God. how the fuck do I even want that? Um. There's, there's, there's things. I need to, I need to move this token briefly so I can target you. Because pretty much everything I'm gonna do is gonna target you. Um, oh god. First off, 
the rider will issue a command to the horse to try to get you the fuck off and attack you. Um, though I'm going to give you a plus two to your AC because it's like trying to fucking like rear its head around at you, uh, hey. Tannhauser. So let's do that. I assume I'm now essentially immortal. Yeah, that's exactly how that... Why did you cast the shield spell? I sentence? did not mean to cast the shield spell. <laughs> I'm sure you were trying to, like, open it to look at it, but you cast the... No, it's I have a I have one of those MMO mouses, and I accidentally pressed oh, five. Oh, that's oh it's on your heart. Hell yeah, so mouse okay. five, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'll hit you. No, you barely. won't, because uh, plus two to my AC. They say I, I included it. There's head thrash in there, minus two. Ah, uh, what a shame. Yeah. So I'll I'll hit you and fucking this head like rams into you for thirteen points as it like Sheesh. begins biting into your leg. Uh like the crack but oh, I can't Glad to know that thirteen damage will kill that thing. Yeah, exactly. It's good. It's not dead. I just fucking it's, it's it's really hard because like speaker has this fucking thing of like constantly I want to ride or be in the same space as this creature, and I will allow it, but fucking makes like token management it, yeah. weird. Um, okay, so it um, will move so I can fucking apply damage here. It will apply my, my damage to you. Um, then I require you to give me a acrobatics check. You got it. Yeah. Just you find my acrobatics. Mail. Okay, 16. Uh, 16 is enough for you to like hold on to this thing. Um, the horse tries to take a second attack at you. Um, again, it's going to take a minus two, so it's actually going to be at minus uh, seven. So we'll see if this will even like come close to hitting you. Probably not. New, no, it critically misses you by 12 as it's like just thrashing around right now. Uh, the rider at this point has still has two actions left. Um, we'll use the. I think we will have him. Oh gosh, yeah. Let's, let's, well, you know what? What, what's, what are weapons for if not to use their special properties, right? Right? I, you know, I agree with you depending on how convenient it is for me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I <laughs> Thank like you, it. Louis Anderson. Okay. Uh, well, um, this guy has a flail. He is going to attempt to use the flail to trip you off of his fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> the flail has the trip property, so there are no penalties to attempting this. Um, this will be an athletics check that he will make, which will be opposed by uh, your fortitude, DC. So 10 plus your fortitude. So he'll get a 23. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's already wins. Okay, so then what I'll say is this. It's not a crit, so you can just land in an adjacent square. So, like, here, here, or here, basically. There is no way they trained you to do that. Um, and then, like, his, like, eyes stare. Like, again, the grappling hook is sort of, like, in front of him, like, st like down at him. Um, and, and he's looking at you and, like... He, he just like these eyes pierce into yours, Tannhauser, and the the outrider speaks to you while raising up their their flintlock pistol, and and just says, "You're ridiculous," and fires. Tannhauser <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 feels that more than he's felt any actual any, real. Yeah, like I can, <laughs> I can just be like. Yeah, I will eat your bones. Fucking speaker will be like, what have dog? And I'm like, fucking ridiculous. No, that's uh, a really good response. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. You'll love to see it. No, no, fucking this dog's fucking Wait, no, people, wait, Thurston, that was a Thurston, one. Thurston, wait, yes. he can't yes. use that flintlock because it blew up last time. Um, was it? I think that was a different guy. No, that, that, that was the, that was the pinned guy. guy. 
No, that was the pinned oh. guy. Oh, that's right, because he's... That's right. That's why I technically pinned him, because he okay. couldn't do so anything couldn't but fire the pistol. So, okay, he attacks with the flag. You know what? No, he, he, he tries to use it again, and the gun is, like, absolutely destroyed entirely, because at first it would have just been broken. Now it's completely destroyed. All right, do damage to him now. character sheet. Um, All right, do damage to him now. You know what? Indeed. Fuck yeah. Sure. Here, he takes six points of piercing damage on his own turn because what the fuck is reality? Sure. Uh, as his hand is like, <laughs> ah, and he like lets out this like shouting scream. Um, that's all cool. You fool, you forget. I have a very good memory. You no, know, it's good. Oh, fucking the horse. Okay. The horse is still, like, getting eaten by acid. Don't worry, it it's, takes basically nothing. It's still... Actually, it takes a good amount. Like, a good roll there would destroy... Would have destroyed it. Like, an average roll would have... So, it's, um... It's it's still pretty... Pretty beat the... Beat the shit up. Uh... uh Crunch, who, do something! I believe there's a... Mm, tactical... Hit the damn thing! Uh, all right, L give me a moment. I'm, 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 I'm analyzing where I should strike. You see, I, there's a few options, and this thing is, like, bucking wildly. And uh, Would he have a shot at the weak point? That's what he's kind of, like, you can tell he's, like, trying to suss it up. Can I free action point at it? Yes. That! Point in the sternum! Hit there! Cool. Bang, and you hear this, like, cracking as his hammer comes up. Uh, I'm spending Crunch's hero point to actually re-roll something. Um, Why are these private rolls? Uh, because reasons. Um, and then, You can't let us know how powerful he is. <laughs> I cannot let you know <laughs> Crunch's, Crunch's abilities. Um, it, it is entirely related to deep lore of the game. He, he, like, just massacres this horse by like popping its head off with his hammer and the head goes like spiraling up into the air oh, yeah, yeah, you see a very good hit I, I, I could have had it on my own uh, Mr. Baldrick though it, you know I didn't need your help um, we're but, dying uh, here I, well you know just alright <laughs> uh, oh and then he spends his next action to move are, are you alright Master Oren uh, I've come to execute you Orin doesn't I'm with the Tyrant Skill now. They offered me a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, law. Law is good. No, he comes over to you. Like, uh, Crunch comes over to you, Orin, and is like, oh, 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 Master Orin, you, you appear to be uh, looking very rough. He's like, Orin doesn't answer. His wings are kind of covering and everything else. And oh, my like, God. Oh. Like, mm -mm. Weenie boy. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we have this other one here, who, I guess... Fuck that, they're spiteful dicks. Um, one sec. Uh, the first action the, the, the rider takes is to command the horse uh, to attack Volley twice. <clears throat> oh. Goodbye, Volley. Goodbye, Volley. Attack. What? I missed. Wait, oh, why, I, are they, why are they rolling really privately still? I... I Look, I will. I will reveal. Stop shitting! I miss. <laughs> and then I will do a second attack with the horse. Also, and miss. I will also miss. I love how the one person I can never critically miss is Volley. I know, and, and she, I'm the one who actually who can like do something. <laughs> um, now that was the the, the, the command action. Um, then the, the the rider's first action is to utilize their flintlock pistol and they shoot at Oren, who is hiding. Um, Spite. They will, they will also take a cover penalty from the barrels. And the tree. Well, and the tree, but the, mostly the, the cover. Uh, and they shoot at Oren. Oh, Two. God. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. It was... Now it was his gun blows up! So yeah, close, too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, his, his gun does not... Uh, uh, actually, actually, Thurston, I think uh, you will find uh, the uh, no, hero. No. He narratively declare his gun blows up. <laughs> <laughs> knock me down a hero point. Big, sir. Um, and then Thurston, can you knock me down a hero point? I want him to have a second gun. 
<laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Knock, knock Rua down! I'll kill Oren! Yeah! PvP! P okay, no. Um, I he he hey, he fight. used an action. He can't use it right now. Uh, fuck, that's true. All right, so then the rider spends his uh, next action to attack you, Vali, uh, with, with the, the, the flailing ones. And misses by barely miss. Very sad. Very sad. Um, Sedge time. And then at the end of this, uh, the horse the takes uh, four <laughs> points of damage from Glubtox acid uh, and is still being eaten. Speaking of Glubtox and Dr. Krim. If he helps me one more goddamn time, I will <laughs> declare her hostile. <laughs> <laughs> I will charge her and in engage her in melee. Well, now he has to. <laughs> One of them will the die. Ghost, get the ghost! All right, ah. we have to use magic for that shit, don't we? Oh, okay, and she uh, she attacks the ghost. Bali, <laughs> you are in splash zone. Yes, I'm in both splash zones. Wait, hold on, never mind. <laughs> Uh, well, the attack uh, does 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 hit the Soulbinder, which is cool, um, and we'll do. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, zap, zap. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's such a good attack. <laughs> no. Zap. Um, and then we'll uh, do uh, two points of splash damage to you, Vali. Ow. Oh. Um, hey. That was Doctor Krim, but Glub talks action. Oh no! Club Talk runs through the war-torn battlefield, clutching a clutching a vial, running towards Orin, clambering up the the like the, the barrels and stuff, and holding this like red potion, um, comes up and offers it uh, to you, Orin. This and he looks into your eyes. This little like fetal homunculi. Club talk, help, and oh. offers you this 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 this, this potion. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he breaks it over his head. <laughs> it stabs him to death. It's a fireball potion. <laughs> With a shaky hand, Orin takes it. Okay, <laughs> would you would you like to imbibe it? You, you mean use it? Yes. Would you like to drink it? Yes. You're gonna okay. give me free actions, hell yeah. Cool. You get lesser dark vision. Nice. <laughs> and he I just like, smiles it. and nods at you. <laughs> like like he's so happy, like Hard looks at him and goes like he helped. Thanks, Tom talk thanks, help. help. That thing is going into the pile of spare organs. <laughs> Who, Glove Talk or Orin? <laughs> I mean, Orin will be regardless of what we do at this point. All right, uh, Ted Hauser. Uh, Save us. You're, yeah, you're up, my friend. I think I'd like to have a conversation with this gentleman. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, oh, let's... actually, wait. I forgot something uh, on this person's turn. I needed to give have them make a reflex save, or they will be hurled off at the end of their turn. Based. Okay, no, they're still good. The grappling hooks on them, but they're they're still they're still holding on. Why is his base modifier nine plus five? Because I mean, they big boys. Guys, yeah, they they're 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 fast boys. Is what they are. Huh. We're gonna start out, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go ahead and make a spell strike onto this poor rider, uh, whipping out my rapier. I'm going for the heart. Get him. Get him. Get his ass. Base. That'll get him. Does my, um, does my fear fall off yet? It falls off at the end of your turn because you were at fear two last turn and then it dropped. Now it's this turn, then it'll drop off at the end of this turn. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. That's a good one. Five damage from the rapier. Yep. And then we're going to get the gouging claw. Yeah. Ammo magic. Smash his brains off. Roll a Dimaggio. That's Ooh, a good one. Bad. Yeah. Nice. 11. 11. Boop. Oh, yeah, you like, you do a, like, really uh, telling blow to him and he's like uh, turns to you kind of now taking attention away from from Baldrick um, temporarily who was running off and now focuses it on you Tannhauser uh, staring with the, the flail in hand and the you know smoking wreckage of like pierced uh, pierced bleeding wounds in his hand Tannhauser's gonna, gonna look up at this gentleman 
I want you to understand something. And then lastly, he's just going to leap up and place his hand around his neck. Iron cannot dent steel. And I'm going to use my last focus slot to unforce Fang and just hydraulically crush. Okay. Uh, so let's rock it. Uh, this win. is just auto damage. Yeah, roll the damage. Four damage. Boop. Yeah, he takes it. Just like kind of continues recoiling from, from the attack. He is looking incredibly beaten. You can see like blood coming out of the, the face mask he wears. Uh, there, there are rents on his armor from your gouging attack. Yeah. And then at the end of your turn, you are no longer frightened. Yay! Oh, we did it. All right, we have to, we have to get. Ah, ah! Oh no! Um. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, there's a problem. Elaborate. What kind of problem? Uh, something's coming. Something's what? So, something's coming from down the street. Why haven't you finished this riffraff off yet? Ah. <laughs> uh. Crunch, crunch, trundle, crunch, crunch, trundle, crunch, crunch, trundle, crunch, crunch. As uh, all of you begin to hear, uh, quickly approaching the sound of turning gears and uh, mechanized parts, as in the far southern distance, oh no, approaches no! the dreaded chainsaw car. And let's take a break. Uh oh, spaghetti! Oh, no, no, no. it's my break time. Break time before break time. our inevitable demise. Everyone go time get go some get snacks. Snack. Death of defeat. Oh no! Go oh, get no, some you're getting snacks. Hand around though. Oh great! <laughs> All right, guys, go get some snacks and slap some ass. We'll be right back. As our adventurers take a break, we'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you, you sharing the videos. Advertising the streams and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, we're back. Sorry for blaring people's ears with that. Welcome back, everybody. I think we were recently getting murdered. Uh, yeah, well, we're we're going to Rahua. Um, Rahua, my my friend. Yes. Um, you you are the one who gets to act just in time to see um, our friend Duhakis point out something that has just arrived on scene to the south. Uh, Duhakis and Pras have both like quickly rushed off to the sides to avoid the onrushing vehicle of chains. Um, some kind of chainsaw car. Oh, 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 oh. Some kind of chainsaw car. You know, I had my mental breakdown last session. I can't do oh. it again. Here Some kind go. of hot tub time machine. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking <laughs> kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna grab your head and shake it to <laughs> turn into jelly. <laughs> so, Rua, what, what do you want to do, my 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 fine tree-like friend? So, noticing the chainsaw car, <laughs> rapidly approaching, it moves fast down the street. Oh. An insensate rage begins to well within Rahua, unknown as to why. Good. His eye turns red. <laughs> you, you are the creature from my nightmares. Riley! What's going on out there, Riley? The chainsaw car, Grandma! The chainsaw car is back! Oh no! I'll get my blunderbuss! No, this time it is a real boy's work to take care of. Add her to the target list. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! I will use a hero point to prevent her from being targeted. Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grammy. <laughs> so what are you doing? Uh, so, for who else was going to... Actually, is this Elko going to this right here? Is that space enough for me to move into? Is that like a stair? Farewell? 
Or is that roof? I can't tell. Um, that is that is a wall. So no, you cannot go. Ooh. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yes. What I want to do is just murderize the horse and then kind of move with whatever that, I have left. That, but, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, I think might might makes right in this situation. I just, I just, I need to do this. It, it would feel wrong if I didn't. I'm gonna attack this with the mace, okay, uh, perfect. aiming towards the weak point. That you motherfucker. <laughs> what? I grandma on the fucking table. You fucking grandma. I, we're gonna rock grind. We kill grandmas. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a chainsaw. Yeah. Coming down the alley, kill Miss Eve. Speaker, I'm coming next door. You might think you don't believe in chainsaws, <laughs> but as for me and Grandpa, we're scarred for life. <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. This is what's playing in the background. All right, we're gonna kill what are you doing? the hands off a of grandma. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Uh, Chainsaw's gonna that. make some pants out to grandma. No! no! Oh, not no! that one! <laughs> Punch weak point now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Dude, you have a hero point. You, you have, have like, several hero them. points, Rome. I would like to now. use a hero point now. I would like to I'm, use the hero point now. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna alert you. I'm not gonna say anything specific. We need to use these. <laughs> <laughs> What yeah. makes you say that, Erndil? Yeah. Because I'm not pulling any punches, and this thing has a delicious suite of things. Oh. Yeah, you hit it. Good. It's you a that works. Damage? Uh, absolutely. I'll damage. Sure. Nice. Be six damage. So that will uh, end the horse. Uh, and then the rider will right there. Blop. As he, like, falls down. Um, like, manages to actually... I you know what? Oh, shit. Uh, this is actually not going to be good. Uh, he will take a minus four penalty here. Because he's grapple diving. Because he still has a grappling hook on him. Wow, okay. Uh, he's holding on, but like, still has this grappling hook. is now on the ground. Um, seems kind of like perturbed by the presence of the chainsaw car, but manages to land on his feet. Um, that was your first action, uh, Rahua. What are you going to do now? I can do two more actions. Yeah. Now, while I can move and act on another turn, I've, I have to ask, Thurston, yeah. what will it take for me to shove these two back into the restaurant? Um... Because I, I mean, would have to barrel through Baldrick to get to Grandma. Yeah, that would be... I can't be, let my Grandma get hurt, because she's my grandmother. That grandma would be now. an athletics test to shove. But... Kind of depends on a few things, so... You'd have to get real lucky shoving Baldrick. Ooh. Baldrick. Or Baldrick could let you through, and you could shove Grandma Sweet back in the door. Baldrick Weathers, do you intend to fight this horrible mechanical monstrosity? Uh, I know what this thing can do. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, do not resist then. I'm going to attempt the athletics check to sh just literally linebacker rush these two into the restaurant. <laughs> Riley, who's the bucket man? <laughs> yeah, uh, please give me an athletics check, my, my, my friend. Here it comes. On that 20, Okay, so like you manage with your first action to shove both of them into the. I don't know where, where did Baldrick go. I destroyed. Baldrick. <laughs> He's Baldrick. gone. Yeah, I just like that ended Baldrick out of space and time. Um, yeah, yeah you managed to push them both like into the building and then yourself just. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to go down here. Oh, okay. Where do you want to go? Like, he uh, yeah, it doesn't matter now. I'm here. Yeah, he pushes you into the restaurant. <laughs> My man, I don't know if you know what this thing is capable of, but that's not going to stop it. I, right. We're in trouble. I am right. doing the best I can. That was Who your second know? action with a crit success to shove them into the restaurant. What's your last action, Rahua? Rahua is going to stare down this mechanical monstrosity. Yes. And just begin walking towards 
or in oh I can't colliding with a wall, hold on. Oh yeah, no no. You wanna just like run under the underhang, like to like like there sort of thing? Yeah, because I can't get past it with my move speed. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright. Um so that Actually, will end your turn. If you wanna hit the end turn button, Rua. Oh wait, yep. I was gonna ask, am I able to use like I I'm not sure how high all these detritus is stacked high if I can like kind of surmount it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's basically just difficult terrain. Like it's gonna count as two squares to like shift the road is all. Okay, I think I should have enough move. Uh, cool. Okay. Alright. Uh, is that it for your go then? Because you pushed. Oh, or yes, you attacked, you're right. yeah, pushed, yeah. moved. So that'll be it, right? Yes. All right, if you'd like. All right, so, um, Erndale. Um, so, but, but before you describe, there, there, yeah. are two, there are two figures on top of the, the approaching chainsaw car, which has now entered onto the, the street scene, uh, running down at high speeds. Um, the first one seems to be an austere fellow who looks around and surveys surveys the battlefield like a king. Uh, someone who is bedecked in fine, luxurious purple robes, has a scabbarded uh, weapon at his side which is encrusted with jewels upon jewels, holds a platinum scepter also inlaid with various gems. Um, this fellow looks upon the battlefield as a king might survey their kingdom. Clearly, clearly not a member of the Tyrant's Guild, but uh, one of the uh, possible elite nobles of Outset. And this figure looks about from the perch up top. There he is, the bastard. And now, Erndil, you may, you may uh, describe uh, your character who is on top of this, along with this fellow. Adjacent to this character, the hegemon, is a reasonably sized elf. He's, he's got the usual height to him, you know, between six and seven feet. He's kind of hunched over at the moment, got his hands on the railing of the large tower that is atop the Iron Baron. Uh, this gentleman has a crop of rather long, pale blonde hair, and he has a cut directly across the bridge of his nose from, like, basically cheek to cheek across the bridge of his nose. He is decked in Tyrant's Guild finery, a long black trench coat with spikes and, of course, the usual menacing, dangerous things. However, unlike earlier when he was in the restaurant with Rahua, his expression has shifted to be markedly more annoyed surveying the battlefield and seeing all the dead Tyrant's Guild troops. His voice is shifting down and he appears to be commanding whoever is piloting the vehicle. You all have failed to earn your broth today, and so I believe it is time for us to cut our losses. Uh, Erndo, you may control this token and do as you see fit. Um, I'm just done. Uh, with that, the Iron Baron, well, I should say, Baron Whitworth, the gentleman atop in the, uh, Tyrant's Guild finery, he whips a hand forward with such ferocity that it makes a whip crack sound effect and points a finger directly ahead. Forward! The machine grinds and churns against the ground, kicking up cobblestones, and barrels directly towards Dr. Kren. Oh, who is well sorry. within striking distance. Yep. Goodbye, Dr. Kren. Oh. <laughs> what I was really hoping is that that guy driving by your house would have timed his car perfectly. Oh, the yeah. only time we need him. <laughs> if, if only, Zoran, if only. Uh, Baron Whitworth shall use the attack Melee, Sawmouth. Dr. Krim turns. <laughs> Please target Dr. Krim and make your attack roll. I have targeted her. Club dog, help! <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Krim. Uh, that is a crit. Please uh, roll. Oh, critical critical damage. damage. Hey, hey, Thurston, I need you to know, uh, I'm yep. going to get I'm going to get bloody here. Yeah, oh, okay. No. Absolutely. Critical hit damage is a 72. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Crin is sucked into the blades and spat out the sides as bone shards and gristle. Oh my god. Hello? Yep. Oh. Uh, this activates an ability on the thing. Blood oil. Yep. When the Iron Baron kills a small or larger creature with a sawmouth strike, the Iron Baron is quickened for one minute. Mm. Yes. But I hate gnomes! Get out of the way! Uh, that was two moves. It's going uh, to You are quickened more. now, so you gain the effect, so you will have actually two more actions. Terrific. It is going to charge forward. Mm -hmm. And just blitz past, churning up the rest of the corpses on the way. Yeah. Uh, it's going to just straight up attack what's what's nearest, because this thing is just charging madly. He's not ordering it to attack anything. Mm -hmm. He wants to clear the goddamn You have road. a buffet of options, Erndale. Okay, so he moves up to here, careening forward. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. We got Crunch and we got the ghost. Uh, Crunch is off to the side. I will say in this instance, it will hit the ghost because it's right there. Okay. Wait, it's incorporeal. Does it take physical? Um, it, it, it would take physical if the physical damage was high enough, yes. I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any threat of that. Let's do another sawmouth, shall we? Okay, sure, absolutely. Remember the multiple attack penalty. Though. Oh yes, excuse me. I need to do map minus five. My, how could yes. I forget? How could I forget? <laughs> yep. How could I forget? As it. Oh no! no, 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 no. Yes. The ghost flies away. Like nope, 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 nope. <laughs> the ghost fears oh, wait, the chainsaw. No, we didn't want the ghost to do that. <laughs> no, you want the podcast. It was a natural one. It was a natural one. It was a natural one. Uh, that Baron Whitworth looks down to the side and immediately like stomps on the 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 cupola. It's like, what the bloody hell was that? Why'd you let it get away? Ah, blast! One of ours, sir. It's one of ours. I don't give a damn. They all fail. Recycle them. Oh, yes, sir. It will end its turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, the soul binder will go. It will, um. <laughs> Skeleton's nice and dead. Uh. <laughs> Captain Valley, what do I do? <laughs> Captain Valley? Can you hear me? We no. can now. Yeah, you, oh, we can. Where? Can you get on the roof? I, I can try! I believe in you! He will attempt to climb. He will begin climbing up the side. He will get up a grand total of 15 feet. <laughs> I'm coming! That is Prince du Shelf. Uh, Baldric. Uh, shite. There's... Can I run through the restaurant? Do you have a map made for the restaurant? I do not have a map made for the restaurant. Baldrick is going to flee the field. Baldrick's okay, out of yeah. here. So under yeah, just like... The, 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 just that the <laughs> map is inadequate for our needs. We we clearly intended Grandma Sweets to be in this exact location as part exactly? of... Exactly? Yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I'll listen, that's that's all that's all I'm gonna do. I can't do anything like, in this fight. Move like find door, open door. Okay, yeah, sure. You're 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 like uh, Riley, are you okay out there, Riley? Oh Grandma Sweet hears the distinctive sound of something being horrendously pulverized. <laughs> so that was that was by the way, that was Dr. Crin and the other person the other like knight, the other uh, Tyrant's Guild guy's corpse. So they're they're just yeah, they're yeah. no one can dental records. Yeah. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> Metal. Uh, all right. Uh, volley. Um, I'll give you. Uh, it's good news though, guys. He's only at the top, so literally, you have the entirety of this round to get out. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, seeing that the fucking chainsaw car is here. Um, I'm not particularly muscly, so I can really only get myself up. Um, so I'm going to, uh, just vault up onto the roof, trying to acrobatically find some footholds up there. 
uh, just kind of spring. Hey, give me an acrobatics oh, check. <laughs> <laughs> give me an acrobatics check, Bali. Yeah. It's a 22. Uh, you can start climbing up, um, so you move half speed for, a, like, a first attempt as you, like, hop up. These are, these are 20 foot tall, so how, what's your move speed right now? Uh, my move speed without panache 35? is 35. Okay, so you're, like, partway up. You'll have to give me a second check to reach the top, though. Sure. Oh, yeah. Speed eight, 26. Yeah. yeah, you managed to, like, hop up, get up top, ding! Um, like my final action. So, I, am I above the saw blades at this point? Uh, like, yes. However, it does have like adjustable chain blades that can shoot out that you are aware of. Speaker D designed this. Speaker D. Uh, I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> speaker, speaker sewing. This is awesome. Speaker reaping. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> No, Listen, right your your no conjuration has given me the much needed blood. Um all Now right. I want okay, I want to describe this because I think it's very important for Molly's character. So you like jump up on this like the, the, the woodwork and stonework of these buildings, hopping up to the top, um, landing on top of this like wooden structure and as like as you look out there's the, the gray overcast sky but you just see like a field of um rooftops ahead of you some of them like up and down giving a kind of haphazard mosaic but like there's very clearly a, a path to freedom should you choose to abandon your companions <laughs> volley would never abandon our crew i think <laughs> jesus christ uh I'm gonna turn the guy in purple. He's looking like pompously down at everyone, right? Uh, he is. He is. And in fact, as you like look at him, there's there's some like slight twinge of memory as you see this figure. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna aim a shot at him. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take a take a pistol shot. Uh, I can't target him, so I'll just target the chainsaw guard. Um, just roll the roll the attack. Don't target anything. Oh, okay. Gotcha. God. Bang. Hey, that's pretty good. 27. 27. Yeah, the, the bullet goes out and, like, impacts him uh, in the shoulder, causing him to sort of jut back. Can you roll damage for me? Yes. Damn, that's good. Not bad. Right. For a pistol yeah. shot. For a pistol shot, not bad. Pistol shot goes up, bang, and goes flying, and you, you suddenly just hear atop the, like, the grinding, and suddenly, with the grinding, you hear the, the, the and watch as the, the chainsaw car kind of, like, lifts up and down, um, as you hear the, <laughs> as though several explosives are going off inside of it. Um, <laughs> doesn't seem too affected by this, but, like, it looks like it's, from maybe uh, Dr. Krim, it uh, maybe detonated some of those. <laughs> it got to her tool belt. <laughs> yes. Um, and like, like you can see the, 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 the fellow on top sort of like shakes unsteadily at this uh, and then like washes over like the rod like over the battlefield, this platinum jeweled <laughs> is just this, this, this awful laugh that comes over um, the field of battle and you just hear this <laughs> marvelous marvelous um, at the sound of that, Tannhauser, you feel like some deja vu at the, like, sheer presumptiveness of this voice. Something that, like, strikes a memory chord with you. Where do I remember it from? Um, so do you remember when you were in the, uh, the room with the fire basin in the temple, um, after you fell into the sinkhole? Yes. And do you remember the vision you had there of the streets ablaze and outset, and then the, the awful, awful man who had this voice that just was the most pompous and arrogant thing you've ever heard? It seems to be this voice. <laughs> this um, is the enemy. Uh, Vali, that will be the end of your turn. Uh, if you want to pass it over to Oren. 
Uh, Oren, as you have, like, quaffed the, the potion that has given you the ability to see slightly more clearly in this gloomy overcast, you now see Glubtok has turned away from you, horrified to see Dr. Krim eviscerated by the approaching chainsaw car. His hands are still outstretched towards you in an offering of the potion, but his face is turned and is completely horrified at the sight of, of its creator being dismembered and then the subsequent insult of the explosions uh, from the, the tool belt. Club talk! G- g- club talk! E club talk? Club talk. Club talk. Club talk in my backpack. Club talk. Turns to you with like the biggest puppy dog eyes you've ever seen. Hop on my club. backpack, club talk. G- g- club talk. Glub talk live and glub talk like crawls over getting into your backpack. Glub talk required. <laughs> I will add glub talk I, to your inventory. He's been added to your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I would like so there's an I like to make a narrative declaration, but it might be mm-hmm. too bullshit the game cast oh. wise. Sure. So I, I, I want to bring it up first, you can tell me yes or no. I okay. want to cast Gale Blast. But mm-hmm. I want to try. So basically, Gale Blast is basically just like boom, big gust of wind. It went around so you get hit and they get pushed back and stuff. My near to declaration is to be able to use this spell as if try to direct it down below to catch wind under Orin's wings. Okay. To launch him up into the air. And the goal for this, I'm willing to, I'm willing to dump as many hero points as I need to for this. I only have two left. Yeah. That uh, to get up to a height. To where I am level up with the nobleman and the other guy on the chainsaw car. Okay. Yeah, sure. But as Glob Talk gets in his thing and he looks at Rahua going like and he's like, like, Crunch can't go very fast. Oh, don't like, worry about me, Master Oren. I I I have I have some, some life left in these these legs of mine. As I don't, as I don't worry, who I try to get yourself out of here. I can at least use my wings to help out. And basically, it goes right up into the air. Yeah. So what was that spell called again? Gale. Gale blast. I'll I'll put it down here yeah. just so you can have an idea of it. I don't know how bullshit we want to. No, go no, no, with no, no. It, I got you. Yeah. I got you. You're like, like basically like. Okay, I'm gonna let you do this. Um, however. Um, I will say that it will, you'll, you'll spend the narrative declaration to do this. Um, I want you to roll the, the damage on this. So it's going to be D6. Uh, just actually click the damage button. Yeah. Cool. It shoots you up 40 feet. Awesome. So I'm basically over the rooftop at this point, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You're like the, the roof. The roofs here are about like 20 feet up. You're like 20 feet above them. Awesome. Uh, because I am a Strix, I can easily glide. Yes. And stuff without. I basically I could just fall without taking any fall damage. I can just slowly yep. just glide through because of my wings. Uh, I am basically taking up to on top of the place itself. So I'll drag myself over. I can't get there. But basically, like, under Baldrick's token there, I'm basically getting on top of Granny's thing. So I'm out of range of the okay. of the yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. So that I have to use my move action to basically just kind of glide down, Arrest touch on the, the fall. rooftop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No fall damage. Absolutely. Sounds good. And I just whew, gently down no problem. I wish I had more actions. I want to do some cool stuff, but Drop that's the end of the last turn. Okay. Whoop. Um, so Tannhauser, um, you have this this guy who is beside you. Um, the rider is like panicking. So the rider is going to like in a desperation to get away uh, is going to attempt to attack you. Oh, you? You're gonna hurt me too? <laughs> You're ridiculous! Get out of my way! <laughs> um, let's see how this works. We'll see if it, it works. Uh, swings his flail. 
fuck off. Uh, with a 13, which will miss. Um, so, like, swings the flail once, misses. Uh, swings the flail again. It's seriously? Uh, the, the third action is now will command the horse, and he commands the horse to use its two actions, um, knowing the, the speed and, and which of the chainsaw car. Um, <laughs> this is this is so great. Um, we'll, we'll tell the horse to attack you once and then to run the fuck away <laughs> with a move. He this hates guy. you. This guy. this guy. You're ridiculous. Employee of the month. Fucking <laughs> 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 Sergeant Waycroft, I was remembering your failure! Yeah. You'd better run, boy! <laughs> like, fucking runs like this way. Now, 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 now. This triggers Speaker's Trap card. Because... <laughs> this fucker gets, like, dragged along with it. Oh, my God. He's been keel-hauled. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh god, he has to. Okay, he has to. Make oh wait, it. that's right. You also have to roll the acid damage on the horse at the end. Oh yeah, don't worry. That's the end of the turn. Oh god. Okay. So they're like dexterous. So he's like fucking doing, do, do, like, like tapping, but but it's still gonna do some damage. Uh, speaker, can you roll me three d six? I would love to. Please. I love it. Okay, perfect. Um, scraping so he metal takes like eight ground. points of like like scrape damage as he's like pulled along. He's not fallen like or gone prone, but he's like madly like resisting the the, the grapple, trying to get it off at this point. Um, God damn it! Now this is where it gets really because I'm really curious if the acid kills the horse here, it's gonna be really fucking. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find like, out. Everyone's gonna go flying down the street. Oh God. Oh, that might... Oh, shit. Goodbye, horse. Oh, no. Goodbye, horse! <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> this guy, like, already fucking got his, but this guy now has to fucking take a reflex save to see if he fucking goes, like, off the deep end into death time. Oh, oh god! god. <laughs> like, he does okay. The horse melts. It like collapses into the ground. This guy like crit succeeds. Uh, he has massive protagonist energy. He goes flying like twenty feet away. Like the dissolving corp, like corpse of the of the the skeletal horse dissolving into the ground. The rain is now coming down a bit more intensely. He looks over at you, Tanhauser. The the like the gulf of like 60 feet up between you and you just see him and like i guess i'm ridiculous too um and that's <laughs> that's his oh fucking go i guess you know Roger what? Waycroft, oh that God. was sick as hell you but know don't what? think it will spare you guild tyrant's guild mook number three you are a worthy foe <laughs> <laughs> that guy give that guy a fucking name right now he has one he has one is he sergeant waycroft now yeah. sergeant, sergeant waycroft. waycroft yeah he just needs to now not die to this if you want to defect, we're hiring. No, he will not defect. I will show you in half of that. Let's <laughs> catch me first. Don't you speak, funny man down there. I'll kill you shortly. The great and mighty Kevin. I am not Kevin. <laughs> what are you trying to do with him? Trying to get him killed? Crunch is trying to like move around. <laughs> he heroically jumps into the blades to save yeah. people in trouble. <laughs> he, like, he rushes around. Oh, and he, like, Rahua, you see him stomping. The tree has kind of prevented him from getting like, oh, well, I'm just going to run around this way. I, I can't go through all of that. You see my arm. Shut up. Like, go rushing. inside. I, I, that's as far as I can move. Three actions. Uh, oh, my fucking God. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Are you fucking this? Come on. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Krim's body causes another explosion to occur. Good. Um, Tannhauser? Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, um, Doesn't exist in this setting. We established that. Oh, yeah, that teleport is true. Out the, maybe teleport the fuck out of here. I'm Give out me of focus Krismo. points. I can't. Oh, God. Run. Well, this guy here... Alright. I don't want Ruhu... Rahua gets to go. Duhakis gets to go. I'm assuming the people behind the chainsaw car are safe, relatively. 
<laughs> that they will use their turns to fuck off immediately and not like throw like spitballs at this thing. Prance is Prance is climbing. Duhakis hasn't done anything yet, but she is unfortunately still within grinding distance. Uh, yes, I'm aware I have control over that, but I have I'm playing as a GM NPC right now. Got me some slack. Tan Tanhauser will quickly declare Retreat! We'll fight another day. And uh I think he is going to try and climb up this wall. Okay, uh that will be an athletics. Show. Yeah, let's go. But good thing I'm good at that. Yeah. I would love to use my grappling hook, but unfortunately I used it. Unfortunately, you used it already. <laughs> it's all right. It was sick as hell. It gave us Sergeant Wakecroft, yeah. who is now a rodeo cowboy, I guess. I yes, love Sergeant so. Wakecroft. Don't fucking dare kill him. Okay, can I? Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, my what? servos will just actuate, and I'll just, in one leap, just jump on the What number do you roll? Athletics? Yeah, but I'll let it you was get a it. It won't matter. It won't matter. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so that will be the first check, but as we establish the volume, it is two checks to reach the top. Okay. Uh, so what do you need for me now? Uh, you did uh, acrobatics. Um, I will allow you to make one more acrobatics check. Certainly, you have you've utilized it already. So, and I allowed Vali to do it. So I will allow you to do it. As Thank well. you, King. Okay, remember the same number of you. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, that'll get you enough to like scramble over the top here. Yeah. <laughs> Powered by revolution and also fear of chainsaw car. True. Yes. Just like yeah. Che Guevara. Yeah. Yep. And Tannhauser will just declare scatter. Yeah, uh, time to run. Before beginning to make his way uh, separate from everyone else, so that they're not all in one centralized area. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be spending my time. Tannhauser partially wants to stay behind make sure everything's like everyone gets away okay but at this point it's like it's kind of outside of his control he can't do anything really um so i think he'll probably start just making sure we get the fuck out of dodge mm -hmm. cool yeah so that'll be the turn okay you may end your turn do hawkes uh, well, uh, uh, not going that way Oh. <laughs> she turn, I will turn Dahakas into gravel. She turns and like proceeds to hide. Like, oh no. Um, Rahu, my boy. My boy. Also, oh. yeah. <laughs> we need to. We need to go now. I I know we do, but I, I, my legs only take me so fast. You will go inside right now. I will make you go inside. Give me an athletics check to move the man made entirely of metal, my friend. Oh, Here you no. go, stupid idiot boy. You have a spell that can blast <clears throat> inside. Uh, so I assume you're moving to here in an attempt to push Crunch in. Correct. Okay, so that will fail. Um, yeah, I figured you, that was going to fail. Would you like to use one of your two hero points yes, in an I attempt would. to reroll that? Cool. Okay, 24. Okay, um, so that's enough to push him five feet. <laughs> Run. So, I only have two options at this point. And apparently Crunch is so thick that he overlaps a space that I can't get to. Correct. Oh god, I can't get oh, to any space no. nearby, actually, apparently. Yeah, you're very slow, tree man. No, it's like I'm trying, trying to move under the landing. Uh, no, it, yeah, 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 but. So you can't actually get inside because you've pushed Crunch in there. Can I climb to the top of the roof using my fucking crazy ass, sick as hell, being a tree ability? Okay, okay. So I will allow you to make a climb, but your climb is based on your land speed. So, oh, like, dear. you can get up to here, <laughs> climb up, but you'll be like five feet up if that. You will not be out of the saw range. Oh dear. You saved Crunch though, Rahua. Can I push through him? Uh, well, uh, you could attempt another athletics check. Yes, to shove him. Will that put me inside if I succeed? Only if you critically succeed at it. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You have, you have oh, everything no. to lose? 
Go for it. <laughs> okay. I need okay. two of these. <laughs> it's either that or get mulched on the street. There's no other option. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So that with athletics is what I need to do? Yup. Oh. No. You have a hero uh. point. You do. That's Two percent chance. Wait, could you oh, use God. the barrel as a jumping off point to get any kind of? He only moves like ten feet. He can't get to anything. Oh my God! <laughs> that was so more than ten small. feet. That was twenty. Um, what what is your move? I thought your like thing is like really slow right now because of your armor. I my body is, is armor. Feet? Yeah. Why yeah, are you no, moving he, ten he feet? Yeah. Why I wasn't doing that. Oh, weird. Okay. No, you can actually run, run, run past in. Sorry, I was I was confused. It was. I was gonna say like, like false hold suspense. On, I'm not that fat. Yeah, false suspense. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, who was fat rolling? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy load. He's encumbered. I'm Try sorry. Through. Yeah, you can just run past them and go like in there if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm okay. not gonna risk death for that. Cool. Cool, I like it. So you rush in. Baldrick has just finished opening the door. Everyone else is kind of inside here. Uh, Oren's on top. Grandma Sweet crunches in with you. Okay. So uh, everybody want to... Uh, <clears throat> oh, boy. Baron Whitworth shouts and slams his hands on the controls after the uh, the explosion slow the vehicle down somewhat. Mm -hmm. You will move us forward right now! Yep. Yes, sir! Forward! They begin operating. Uh, the vehicle will move forward uh, because it has trample as an effect. Yes. I'm going to move over the tree. Okay. To this no, spot not here. the tree! Okay. Right, right here. That good enough? Yeah, absolutely. Well, could you move me up there while I am having it lie on? Conch. He was the best uh, character. So here's, here's the problem. That was one move. So I need yeah. to I need to do the saw no, damage to the tree, right? Well, yeah. If you're trampling, it's three actions, but you do get an extra action because of your quickened. So. Uh, in that case, I shall not trample. I shall simply move through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the tree does not impede you at this point. Targets on the left and the right. Pinion maneuver. It will attack Vali with a chain glaive. Oh no! Okay. It has a range of fifteen. Yes, and it is a gargantuan creature, which gives it a height that will allow it to basically shoot out one of the chain glaives. Ah. Targeting. Yes. A chainsaw on the side of it. I'm assuming it is based on like a small arm, correct? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like there, there's some there's some give or take here. Like you could use the saw blade to represent like cutting into the building front if you wanted to attack Crunch or Rahua. You could use the, the glaive to like shoot at an angle. Oh, I fully intend to, Thurston. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Just tell Bali me. Volley is attack first target though. Oh, I'm, right. I'm attacking three times. I will attack Volley. Christ. I will attack I will attack Crunch. Okay. I will attack Rahua. Okay. Volley oh. first. Okay. Plus 23. You can't will, miss unless you roll a one. That will critically uh, hit her. If I nimble dodge, would it negate the crit? Uh, oh, it you, would, because it would take it, it would. to plus eight. Yes, I'm going Correct. to nimble dodge. <laughs> yeah, so you only do regular damage to Volley. <laughs> you nimbly dodge for a moment as the glaive comes careening towards you. Oh, slashing you for 26 damage. Oh, I'm down. I'm at 25. Cool. You uh, you are dying up 20 feet on a building, Volley. You have uh, you have sustained a massive slash that practically goes to your fucking spine against yeah. your stomach. Oh, by the way, now it is time to unfortunately probably kill Crotch as well. Oh. oh, yeah, I was going to ask who are you attacking first, Crotch or Rua? Crotch, of course. Okay, absolutely. He must die. Roll it. Get that ridiculous looking knight! That hits him. That, uh. Remember to say the knight. Oh, Jesus! 
30. Just, uh, sorry, sorry. I should, I should, um, yes. Cl- clarify. Um, that will hit him 30 points. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, you're clarifying? Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was just clarifying the, okay. I, I thought I saw something wrong, but yeah. Okay. Okay, well. He takes Jesus. It. He takes 30 damage and that didn't even take a chunk out of him. He, like, staggers back. Oh, and he falls on his back. Uh-oh. I'm going to... Oh, no, he's down. <laughs> no, no, I have to attack him now. Uh, well, no, he's, he's fallen down, um, but he's still, like, up and engaged. Um, but he's kind of, like, on his back, defenseless like a turtle again. You do realize I have to attack him again. Like, I won't have to attack him again because I'm a targeting Rahua. I have to spread the damage out fairly. Yep, you have to attack Rahua. Wait. Um, Thurston, the Sawmouth... Yes. Yes. Is that melee or is that? That's is melee, that? but you like, given the situation, you could like buzz through the front of the house and Rahua would only get plus like four to AC. So, you know, it'd be minus 14. You still might hit it. Rahua, my friend. <laughs> you. <laughs> you must face the cowering inferno. Um. Now, that, that will be miss. four. That will miss. Because you rolled a 23. Yeah, rolled a 23. Yeah. And, and then AC is 20. Yep, it begins chewing through the front of the house, crumbling the, um, the, the, the like the masonry and everything around it. Uh, the, Whitworth is going to start shouting at the driver. Are you trying to eat the building or the tree inside it? If Rahua's face could look any more gaunt, the fact that it already looks inhuman and skeletal in nature, he would look pretty fucking scared. For for shits and giggles, may I please do damage to the building front? Yeah, of course. (laughs) It just tears through the wood. There's no cover there anymore. I assume like Grandma Sweet, Rahua, Crotch, and Baldrick, who've just finished unlocking the door, turn around to see the the front of Grandma Sweet's restaurant be torn open by this chainsaw car. I need to clarify something for Chet. I am not relishing this or enjoying it. I am the Hulk. (laughs) I am the inedible Hulk. I am the unenviable Hulk. Everyone wanted the chainsaw people? car. Everyone wanted the chainsaw car. <laughs> Don't forget, you, you asked for this. for this. You asked for this. No, I am, I am literally doing my really job. So. Thurston wants me to kill them, so by fucking Christ, I will. Even if it means killing me, I will do it. <laughs> and, and oh, by the way, the, the horse and the rest of the things that were underneath, they have been ground to like bone and metal shards. <laughs> they're, they're gone. Everything beneath is gone. Volley, volley, yep. volley, <laughs> volley, my friend. Yeah. Oh, um. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to mention since volley's down, you might want to move her initiative up. Something. Oh yeah, yeah, it does go before the. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I always forget about that. Before sorry about that. I'm Good. sorry. No, 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 no. The... Do shelf rushes up to you? No. But you don't no. like. I don't think any of you can see what's happening though, so that's cool. Uh, Baldrick. Oh, uh, fucking friend. Christ. Tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to try to do one thing. I'm within range. Mm-hmm. This probably won't do a goddamn thing. Thurston, I'm going to hero point and narratively declare I'm going to conjure a tangle foot bag and immobilize <laughs> this thing. If you roll a natural 20 on the dice, I will. You know You're a I- dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I got nothing. To, I got I got I got hero points to burn. Do it. Do oh, it. Oh, that's the Iron friend. Baron sheet. I can't have him do that. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 have the Iron Baron. Hey, Iron Baron rolls to craft and that. fails. Uh all right. Fucking crap. Give me one tangle foot bag. Roll it. Roll it. I like how you have to make it. Like I'm just like just roll a d20. You're only going to I'm only going to allow this on the roll of a 20. Okay. This is like all those times in Warhams when I was like, uh, difficulty number like 18, and then speaker would be like, the power of chat! 18, you dirtbag. Yeah, sorry. All right, I'm, ro- I'm re-rolling it. I gotta, right, at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. absolutely. If you roll a one, though, you're gonna tanglefoot yourself and trap yourself in the building. 
Uh, look, I I have to try something here. All right. Of course, of course. Of course. Ah, nine. Uh, it like the the bag goes and just gets like chewed up by the the spinning blades of this thing. Damn, I hate these things. I like that it was super effective, and now you're fighting this overwhelming force, and you're like, this is dumb. <laughs> Uh, would you like to spend your remaining action to exit out the back door? Yeah, I'm leaving. I, I, I can't do anything. Okay, so Baldrick, I lack the materials. Uh, Baldrick departs the field of battle. Uh, I will still have your token here, but that's fine. He is the beacon by which they are following. Uh, Orin, you are on top of the roof of the building that is being shredded apart. Uh, you hear clap, talk, clap, talk. I want to be fucking judged hard for this decision. <laughs> He's gonna throw glove talk at him. Good job. Is the roof <laughs> is? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm already judging you. <laughs> Why are you killing glove talk? We are pre-judging you. I like Holy how shit. I like how like everyone assumes the worst shit yes. possible. We My know question you. is. How, like, how, like, from relative of the roof that I am uh, to volleys, am yeah. I higher or below her? Uh, you're, you're the same height, so you're both actually at 20. Okay, so we get to get into Strix jumping territory. Basically, I want to get from my roof to her roof so I can help volley and get her to safety. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Because um, Oren basically sees the glare go shing, like this right through the body goes, Bali! And just well, immediately just, <laughs> just starts running, wings sprawled out, like, Glub Talk, hold on! Whoosh! And it's important that you recognize, Oren, um, that as you are doing all of this, you look over to see Vali engage the distance, but you also see Prance du Shelf uh, going through her inventory rather. <laughs> God, I love Prance! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, it literally has like the coin purse. More reason to jump over and fucking. If Molly was that alive, guy. she'd be proud of him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she <laughs> was. <laughs> We're part of a crew now. Eh, well, the crew didn't work out. I need the money. I have all these children to feed. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, you I, want I have, to. I have wings. Um. So basically, when leaping horizontally. Yeah, you move an additional five feet. You don't automatically fail your checks on high jump or long jump if you don't stride at least 10 feet first. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, if you make a long jump, you can jump a distance up to 10 feet further than your athletic checks results, though yep. still with the normal maximum of your speed. Just for reference, I'll click that there. So yep. chat can read it and you can read it. Um, how, how would we like to do this? Uh, so you're going to move and then you're going to give me an athletics check and based off that, that determines how far you can go. Okay, let me go ahead and do give you. So you get like the running now. start. Yeah, like I know I don't technically need it, but you know the whole. You might need it. Yeah, I, I mean, like for this the, is, the, this running, is the, the running time start to burn all like, this, like the running start. No, I don't need. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hear a point that I rolled a six. That's <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh, definitely Not gonna ideal. need a. I yeah, got don't one left. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you can do this. I believe in you. I roll a one. I'm dead. I'm no. dead. I roll a one. Okay. Um. So. How bad would you like me to die, Thurston? Because I'm uh, jumping well, right gonna, over the chainsaw fall, car. Like, right in front of the chainsaw uh, car. If, if I may, if I may, for a moment, Thurston. But uh, no. Yes, no GM. Yes. But no, it can't be true. I could fly if I wanted to. <laughs> like a bird in the sky. Oh. If I believe I can fly, why I'll fly. Can we have? Okay, I at least want the narrative to be controlled just a tad bit so I don't look like a fucking dunce. All right. Can I? So, can, I can I spend a narrative declaration oh my God. to Empower have a him. gust of wind put him at least <laughs> slightly off course? So he is not immediately gibbed by the chainsaw car. <laughs> yeah, like we'll let you put him on the ground so Erndil has more targets. Sure. sure. Can I also spend a hero point oh to narratively <laughs> declare something? <laughs> Look, Thurston, Good. we have to no. do it. We have to burn them. No, okay. 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 What, what's your What's your narrative declaration, Rahula? Why Why not? Fuck it. What's reality anymore? I love these games. Sure. 
What's, it what's, wasn't how, just... How is your Final Fantasy prayer sequence happening here? It wasn't just pure chance that Orin failed to transcend this distance. Mm-hmm. For what he did not see, what knocked him off course, was an errant and angry avian creature. Oh my god! Aggressive oh. spine down yes. his stomach. <laughs> oh my man! Clearly I will go sailing oh, no. no more. <laughs> oh lord, it's back! You want to delete the horse corpses? Because they don't need to be there anymore. They make your life easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, we can. Yeah, now he just moves through the building yeah, real quick. and Now, he's now there's gelatin. <laughs> okay, so the attempted jump. The fail. Um, I, 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 at least, at least can I control this talk? language? Uh, Glum talks uh, yeah, in yeah. my backpack. He's Yeah, okay, okay, he's still with you, okay. So basically, I'm, I jump in, flying through the air. It's perfect trajectory, like everything else. He's he's soaring through. He's to shelf, staff ready. But then, as he's passing by, what? the the the, the, the chainsaw car fires off a couple glaives, and all I hear is ah, nah, nah, from the guy on top. But then I'm like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save my friends. I want I want to help Valley and. And we're gonna get out of this alive, and then that motherfucker hoot, hoot, coming down. Hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> and I, it's like I want him to say, "Remember me, bitch!" Hoot, hoot. And like slices a right wing, disabling oh, yes. my ability to glide, and I come crashing down, bam, onto the ground. It is very high, though. Mm -hmm. Pain. <laughs> you, you crash. You, I'm not gonna. Uh... I'm gonna let you make a reflex. <laughs> I love how, what is it with my players being like, I wanna hurt myself more with this check. So Thurston, I'm, I think I'm I'll being be fair. If you wanna let me live, I'll live. I'm, well, look, technically I'm a Strix. I don't take fall damage. You won't damage. live. Yeah, I, ta I don't take fall damage, technically. That's I'm right, a Strix. Yeah, yeah, you're good. So I'm fine. Like, and this saucer that like flies above, like just keeps flying off, hoot hoot, that's all. And he just fucks off. Fucks off. And I, there I am. <laughs> Like he knocks me off. I try to. I reorient myself whoosh, just at the last second. Oh my god. Okay. You want to end your turn there, buddy? Uh, how many actions do I have left? That's technically uh, one, I guess, right? I guess. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I guess that would be one. Yeah, yeah. So you land. Yeah. How the fuck am I going to get up there? <laughs> it's like, well, now I'm down here. <laughs> it's either stay here or die. And I wrote, and I'm, I'm, I'm determined to either save Volley or get Volley the fuck out of here. Yep. How can I, how can I strix my way up there? There's. <laughs> I. Thurston. How can you indeed? Yeah, how can you? Now, do you have any flying based spells that aren't some bullshit narrative declaration that I'm not going to let I you do? I do have again? a hero point. Bro, grow a tree beneath you and, and run away. <laughs> oh, yeah, can I just cast tree below me that'll catapult me up to folly with when I flap my wings? <laughs> Wait, no, don't do that. Rapu just disappears and just into the ground, <laughs> comes back up where he was. Like, oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> no, transport oh, tree. in the wrong tree. <laughs> Let me see what it, the, the issue Christ. is. That, like it would be fitting punishment for what happened. Yeah, I don't have any flying forms uh, for animal forms and stuff. I can't turn into a spider or anything. Uh, that is not a thing I have. Wait. Well, ugh, fuck. Animal form takes two actions. You could at range heal volley. I don't have any spell slots left. Oh wow, you're fucked. That, that's that's why I'm yeah. having to get new to her so I can use my cantrip to get healing blaster and then battlefield medicine her. Oh yeah, you are you are. Yeah, so I, I, I I have no more spell slots left. I used them all. Do you have a healing potion? You could yeah, you could hand it to Glub Talk and throw Glub Talk. <laughs> uh no, I don't have anything. You're fucked. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> will spend a narrative declaration. And if, with your permission, Thurston. Yes. From the discarded remnants of that mad professor, a single health potion remains on the ground. 
Aww. That'll help him. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll allow it. Like a, a fucking absolute lesser elixir of life. Done. Done. Mark that. Mark that man down. A fucking hero point here. Jesus Christ. Love talk. Love talk. Love talk. Are you okay? Love talk. <laughs> This is or the longest six-second turn ever, by the way. <laughs> I know. Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. Clap talk. Clap talk. I know it looks real bad right now, but I need you to trust me. Clap talk. I need you to grab that potion and help Volley. He's up there. I need you to help her. Clap talk. Crawls out, grabs the potion. I assume I, looks, I spent... Like, like, how, how, how many actions did I spend doing that? Like, I actually. Uh, I mean, it's like, you, like you're directing. Are you wanting to throw Glub Talk up there? Yes. Okay, then just give me, give me an attack roll. Uh, you can like. I do a fist on arm strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That works. Glub Talk. Nice. Twenty-five. Yeah. Glub Talk, help! Go, Glub Talk, help, Volley! Whoosh! Oh. Just help, Volley. Okay. Got, right. uh, that, that, that's your that's your action. You commanded and then you threw. My turn's over. Dang. Very good. The horse is gone. I can remove. The horse is gone. Remove yeah, him. I from can the remove list. participants. Can you remove Doctor Krim from the list? Why does she still have a turn? Because uh, that reminds me when Glub Talk can go. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Um, I, I appear to be on my back. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Sarah, Crunch, can you help? <laughs> <laughs> I love when you help lose the voice. Like, I, I understand <laughs> that you're trying to make Crunch a lovable character. After this, I just actually would prefer Crunch to be dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, because the problem like, is nobody ever helped him do his feet. Yeah. Like it has been so the guy took 33 <laughs> damage to the chest like it was nothing, but you're like, oh, he's on his back, better leave him. But like, help him! He will live! Oh, oh. I appear to have gotten over my prone state, Rahua. Are we retreating from the battlefield, my friend? Yes, we are leaving now. Come with me, elderly madam. We must go away from the car of death. Riley, should I go with the man? Yes, Grandma, go. He, you are going to die here if you stay. Okay. This car is very hungry, but not for food. <laughs> this suck, sucks. <laughs> They're in range. Hmm? Are you going to kill your shelf? <laughs> Glab talk. Glab talk, help. Glab talk, help. No. Healing potion. It gives you nightmare. Perhaps we could come to some kind of negotiation. <laughs> this is where uh, Pross makes a diplomacy check on uh, Glub Talk to. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, oh, and Chat said I was a horrible person. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Does Pross even have. Oh my god, he does have diplomacy and it's not terrible. Uh, but Do it. It's funny. Is, is it Pross's turn? <laughs> It's not Pross's turn, it's Glub Talk's turn, and Glub Talk <laughs> is going to heal Volley. For one hit point. Hey, that's enough. One! One whole hit. <laughs> one! <laughs> Alright, Volley, you are you are no longer dying. <laughs> but you you are going to be a wounded one. Uh, okay. Does does Volley now move to a lower thing? Uh, no, no, no. She stays where she is. It's it's already been been adjusted. So she still gets to go before you because she was knocked. Right. I wanted it to allow sure. people to to maneuver around. It, so. Yeah, like she's no longer dying. She's now wounded one, and uh, she's now technically unconscious now. So now, but she's prone and stuff. She has to get up and. Da -da -da. Well, she's not unconscious. She she's conscious. Yeah, yeah. And the glove talk like pours yeah, the vials. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talk helping. Kind of like slaps your 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 chin and like uh, like you hear from the oh Valia, we were helping you. <laughs> oh, that by the way, the chainsaw car just drove by. I'm sure you heard that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> exactly. Volley looking up like, why do you have my coin purse then? Well, in case anything happened, I knew you would want the money to survive. Uh, hey, Thurston. Yes. I narratively declare that Duchelle stabs her. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! 
PVP! PVP! Hostile player! Hostile player! We're gonna take 20 episodes this time. We're getting right to it. I spend a narrative declaration, so Duchelle trips and Ed breaks his neck. Crunch! Crunch falls onto Baldrick and Baldrick dies. Okay, no, anyway. Okay. No, that's it. Tannhauser, it's your turn. A red card for me, yes. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Looking a little grim. This shit's looking grim. Yes. Yeah, run and away. Tannhauser sees this. Volley is fucked up and bleeding on the side of the chainsaw car. Everyone is barely managing to get away while chain glaives shoot into this restaurant at any time. It could turn and just mow down the vast majority of escaping people. So Tannhaus is going to make a choice. I'm going to make a running leaf off this roof uh -huh. onto the street. Okay. Oh, very, very brave. I am a very brave boy. Okay. Oh, I can't help. But, I also can't help but notice you didn't. Oh shoot! Sure. I did you not didn't move, move your boys. Yes. Well, this guy would be prone, so that's fine. Um, oops, I'm not invisible. Uh, this guy, like, fucking Sergeant Wavecroft is running the fuck away. So yeah, he's, he's out. He's, he's gone. Out. Uh, th <laughs> this guy, this guy has, like, well, we'll take his three moves because he's no longer tethered. Uh, and, like, well, actually, he'll also be. Good, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. They, they, the, the, the Outriders run the fuck away. So would I have to make a check to jump down, or could I just do it? Oh, uh, you could like just do it. Like, uh, you can give me an acrobatics to make. I roll to take fall damage. Yeah. Arrest your fall. Is it? Sure, sure. Yeah. Because it's twenty feet. You could take some fall damage. Anything. Somebody have a narrative declaration to make him take fall damage. <laughs> yeah. <anything laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, yeah. I narratively <laughs> declare a punji pit. You're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the acid from the horse is still like fucking everywhere. And no, you're good. You're good. You can land. Oh, I got. It's not letting me move. Oh yeah, he's, he's, right he's, he's in out of bounds yeah. territory. Yeah, and uh, I could probably move one five feet forward there. Um, now at this distance, yes, I'm hoping I'm out of range of the chain glaives. You are. I'm not. going to call out to the chainsaw car. Minoka. <laughs> Thank you. Me, oh, car! <laughs> car! <laughs> and, like, as this is happening, the camera cuts cuts back to our good friend, Sergeant Waycroft, who turns around, and we just see the face and the nod of the mask. Ridiculous. And he keeps running. <laughs> Ridiculous tier. and mediocre. Single tier! <laughs> Ridiculous. God bless the USA! Listen to me, nobleman, as if you were not a drunk, sopping wreck. Come and kill the revolution, if you may. A thousand more will rise behind me and eat their fill of your flesh. And I want <laughs> to try to draw the chainsaw car to pursue me rather than okay. attack anyone else. Okay. Do you want to do you want to give me uh, an intimidate check for that? I think I'd rather roll my minus two diplomacy. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. no, we'll I'll roll. Critically, it. critically fail it terribly. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Nineteen. Yeah, like you, you definitely get the NPC's attention. The, the 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 purple bedecked noble turns like towards you and sort of like points the tip of the scepter lightly. Oh, what's amusing? What the hell is that man screaming about? Run him down next. All right. We should. Should be great. Um, all right. Uh, Grand the Gargoyle's going to get the fuck out of here. Woo. Duhakis, run away. <laughs> Rua. Yeah. What you going to do? Uh, fucking <laughs> leaving because I'm not going to go outside while the chainsaw car is here. Yeah, okay, so you, like, rush back with Crunch and Baldrick and them? Yes. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna move far away from it, but if need be, once the chainsaw car passes, I'm gonna run out to Folly. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, Vali, you're up. You are prone on top of the roof with Glub Talk over you and Prost like, eh, friend! The very nasty gash. Ooh, owie, ooh, ouch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look up at Franz and just, all right, you ridiculous man. Get the hell out of here. Run, so you don't get murdered. I forgive you for stealing my wallet. It's what I would have done. You're the best captain ever. Run, idiot. Make sure you get your money back right. first, then, then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look down and see uh, Oren. Look down at Glove Talk. I'm not leaving my first mate. I'm gonna uh, look down and I'm going to essentially use my action to roll off the roof. Uh, and I would like to roll acrobatics to land on my feet. Uh, yeah, I'll like, you, okay, you'll need a DC uh, 15 acrobatics check or you'll take falling damage and then be unconscious and bleeding again. <laughs> Crack! <Yeah. laughs> Do it. Please fail. Please, Please fail. <laughs> There you go. There we go. 26. Man, 26. I saw that three. I saw that three. <laughs> I was about to see the three as well. Yeah, you can, so like, I will land beside. Yeah. Are you leaving Glub Talk up there or? Oh, no, I am holding them. Okay. I'm tired. Little freak. Or wait. No, I could leave. I could leave it with Dushelf, but I don't trust Dushelf to give him back. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I'm going to make a fucking inventory item for a club talk now. <laughs> talk. I despise you. Yeah, yeah, Chad is very much like, they're all so loyal to one another. Who can have the noble sacrifice master? <laughs> fucking Baldrick, I'm out of here. Who fuck this noise? You need to understand, I, I have hero points to burn. I will gladly turn them into villain points. Oh, God. All right, I, uh, so you land. I mean, my play was a double sacrifice. It was fly over oh, it and save my friend and run. And then I he know. turned into an uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> Excuse Erndale and I for not running to crew. the chainsaw car and killing ourselves on the nearby, oh, I don't know, chainsaws. This thing looks like a Tony Hawk accident trap. <laughs> it's like the kind of thing okay, you see I, in I Tony Hawk's Thug. I don't remember. Molly, I don't Molly, remember. What the hell are you doing? You land. You you land. You land. What are you doing, Molly? I land. Oren's looking rough, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. very. His yeah. eyes are also a strange, like purplish hue. Oh God, uh, I'm gonna sling his arm over my shoulder. All right, yeah. good. Let's get out of here. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna use go. my last two actions to just start sprinting. Uh, I don't know what I would have to roll to kind of keep Oren with me. I'll basically allow you to do kind of like a like a single move with both of you, kind of like rushing. All right. Yeah, my single move is 35 feet. Yeah, yeah, that's why I kind of... Or it's, uh, it's 40 with Panache. Oh, okay. Do you uh, have... I guess you have Panache. Awesome what am I doing? Am I, yeah. What am I going to do here? My backflip. Okay, okay. Um, so that is the end of your go, Vali. Thurston... Yes, my I'm gonna friend. Be a, I'm going to be a dickhead. Oh, okay. I hate you so much. Whitworth is focused solely on Tannhauser. He hates his guts. He yes. points forward, with again, with the, the finger pointing forward with a whip-crack sound effect. Kill him! Driver, forward! Forward, understood! I spend a hero point. The driver accidentally reverses. What? Oh, 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 shit! Oh, shit! All right, take it off. I hate you so much! Can I spend one as, like, a counter spell on... Counter spell! Counter spell on you! Uh, we're gonna, hmm. uh, do I gotta do the trample for that? That's three actions, right? No, that means oh, I yeah, have to yeah, yeah. And then you'd still have an action left after, so you could trample them and make the attacks on both of them. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Yep. All three of them, Not technically, much. right? Um, uh, just Volley and Oren. Oh, okay, stay. Glub Talk is in the, he's safe in the backpack. Yes. He had a man back in base inventory. <laughs> safe. Okay. Oren. Please, not one. I'm begging. No. That's a crit. No. 
Okay, you want to roll that crit damage? That's a 33. That's a 62 damage. Uh, well, um, well, or yeah. okay, okay. Roll wait, wait, before we before we see what happens. Uh, roll for volley next, please. <laughs> okay, sure. You got it, dog. You you got it, Billy. Uh, map okay. minus five. Uh, yep. Does that even apply for trample? I'm not. I'm not. What I'm doing? Uh, I don't need a farm for this. It wouldn't be a crit, uh, so you'll get regular damage. Oh yeah, I need all. I would. Oh, damn, I needed that critical to do one health. Oh, 27. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. So, um, Volley goes back to dying. Let this be known as the day you almost got- ah! <laughs> Um... <laughs> now, you oh. bloody idiot! Forward, not backward! Oh, God. Okay. I'm very glad. Uh, let's do that. Okay, cool. We're dying. Two. There we go. Cool. Um, the club talk, as we described, is a piece of inventory. It's not targeted by this. So, like, you- ye- So, as this happens, um, you like the chainsaw car reverses and there is this like distinct like crunching rending sound it hits volley knocks her unconscious she falls down um prevented from most of the blow however Oren is struck so severely so utterly bloodily um he just disappears because no one can actually see what's happening uh, because the chainsaw car is, uh, is, is but Oren is no more. Uh, you still have one action left. I attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should, should we finish her off? Uh, no, you bloody fool! Go after the damn revolutionist up front. Do not let him get away. Okay, and then you move back to where you. <laughs> I swear, if Hetman gets away because of your ineptitude at driving, you will go under this the next time! Ross do shelf stern. I, I basically went backwards to go forward. Yeah. Good. Cross, uh, actually, Cross will move to there. Cross will make an acrobatics check. One. <laughs> like, yeah. Superman perfectly lands. I hate you so much, do shelf! <laughs> And Glub talk, Glub, talk, Glub talk looks up at him and like looks at Vali and looks up. Help! No. Um, and Glub and Glub talk, Glub talk will make a diplomacy check uh, off of Glub talk's turn because you know reasons. Fuck you. Um, you know whatever. He's adorable. Good. Yeah. So awful, so awful. And, um, uh, do shelf. Um, so at this point, oh god, none of you can see this. Okay, cool. Some stuff happens that none of you can see. Uh, cause oh, Tanhauser can see it from like 60 feet away. Uh, Tanhauser, like Tan give me a perception check. <laughs> if I must. Yes, you, <laughs> you must. must. <laughs> but thou must. Oh shit! Yeah, you are you are too concerned with the approaching um, chainsaw car that you Death. do not see what happens. Uh, as as like Vali is unconscious, the chainsaw car uh, rushes past. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump ahead. Um, so Baldrick and like Crunch are continuing to the, the retreat away. Uh, Just have us leave. We're good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're we're out of there. The Tanhauser, your friends have basically been mowed down as far as you can see. This car is coming towards you. Your other friends have escaped. What are you doing now? They'll pay for everyone. Long live the fighters! And in commemoration of my now deceased friends, mm-hmm. Tannhauser will escape to fight another yeah. day. Okay, so you, you can rush off, and like at this point there's side alleys and whatnot. You can, you can run through. Um, and so you you run off, and the mystery of, of what happens to Vali um is 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 there um and oh well and i mean Oren... if Phil has running away i'm just gonna back up <laughs> no oh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Chasing him. he's chasing him yeah, yeah, yeah i i i kind of assume um so that brings us <laughs> to the end of our session um with Oren uh brutally brutally run over
and Vali uh, in unconsciousness. But, oh dear. But as this as this happens, um, I want to quickly check Bald. I want to ask everyone who the, the survivors, if you will, Baldrick. Yeah. Where will you be going after this? Like, will you be? Wh wh what is your destination? Baldrick is going to use his knowledge of the city to duck through alleyways and whatnot to get back to his home because this was a huge fucking mess. Okay. Rahua, will you be accompanying uh, your friend? Rahua will start to follow Baldrick, but feeling, well, guilty, not wanting to leave his friend behind, will wait for the chainsaw car to pass, to assess the damage, and if seeing Vali there lying, dying, Rahua will make his way back over to her. Okay. When you emerge, you see that Vali, Vali is not there. Instead, all the, the, the ground is littered with is the blood splatter and charcoal explosions. There are no remains of your friends as you come outside and look at the streets. Oh. Rahul will panic for a moment, look around to see if anybody else has remained or is around. And... The, only, the only one that, that comes out is, is the, the, like, the form of, of, of Duhakis who comes out from the city, like, looking up at the devastation, the ground torn up. I, is it over? I think it is over for now. Did you see where they went? Are they, are they okay? Are they... I, I didn't see. I came back. I, 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 when the car left. We need to go. We need to go right now. Uh, and as that we happens, have to find them. something drifts in the air off of like one of the mangled side corpses. It looks like it was something that f probably fell out of the, the satchel of one of the outriders. Um, it appears to be like a scroll case that has like been rolled down the street by, by the intensifying wind through this alley or this street. It has the seal of the tyrant's guild on it. It is partly, uh, partly open. Ruhu will move to pick up the scroll. Okay, cool. Uh, Tanhauser, you you rush through alleys. Uh, eventually, like uh, very quickly, you're able to run off into a side alley that prevents the chainsaw car from properly pursuing you in this this densely packed area. One of the few benefits of this uh, this region of the city. Where do you go next? Tanhauser will probably do the same as Rahua, doubling back to see if there's any signs of his friends, if there's any way to tell where they might have gone, or if they're actually dead, to uh, make sure the Tyrant Skill doesn't get their bodies. Okay, you, you return just in time to, to catch Rahua, who has picked up the, the, the scroll case, and you see Duhakis and sort of the tattered remains of this street. Where are they, Rahua? I... I don't know. They're, they're gone. I, I saw her a moment there. I don't know where Orin went, but they're gone, Tannhauser. I don't know. Tannhauser's going to do a quick once over. There's no feathers or anything. Give right? me a perception check. Uh, 18. Okay. The answer to that question comes in darkness with a, a sound, a sound like rustling, a sloshing maybe. There's, there's light. And as we end our session, Oren and Vali, you both awaken in a familiar place. You both find yourselves in water. You both find yourselves back in the pool, in the temple in the sinkhole, the place where you woke up when you first fell. And both of you sort of wake up in this water, kind of getting your bearings and have a moment to turn and look at each other. Morning. 
Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna, like, grab him in a big hug. <laughs> Orin screams in terror. <laughs> or Orin <laughs> hugs back and just tries to... He doesn't say anything. He's just really shook it up. You all right? No. Yeah. Neither of you are right. Because now, something that wasn't there picks at the back of your minds. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Hooray! Thanks, everyone. Defeat. For that. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, thanks for our death. I'm going to put on some hee hee hoo hoo music. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let me turn this back on here. Boop, boop. There we go. Hope everyone enjoyed go. that episode. Thank you all so much for coming over watching Rock Grind. You know, I want to introduce all the amazing players that uh, suffered with us today, starting off from the left to the right uh, with Oda Roshi. Hi! It's me, I'm Oda Roshi. I was here playing Vali, the Sylph Swashbuckler. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Erndil, for being a fucker bastard. Um, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to get you with my uh, fist. It's on the list. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, amazing session. Very fun, very tense. Ooh, very excited for the next one. Oh, it's two weeks. Next up we have Hokey Crow. That is me. I am Hulky Crow. I thank you very much all for coming out for tonight's session. As always, had a ton of fun, uh, despite, you know, punishing players. It's, <laughs> it, okay, that was a little fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, find me at the usual places on my socials. Uh, oh, right. We're going to be doing something fun afterwards, too. Uh, come on by the Narrative Declaration Discord server. We're going to do a little, yeah. a little, little community night. Yes. Might exclamation play, play a little point, TF2, uh, a little Jackbox. Yeah, exclamation point Discord. Let's see the name of the card declaration the Discord. <laughs> there's, the, there's a chance so on the card. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come back for round two. Uh, yeah, exclamation yeah, like, point uh, Discord, and you'll get the Discord link in chat. Or if you're watching this on YouTube or podcast, usually the links are uh, in the description. Yeah, make sure you come by. We're just going to play a couple games, hang out for a little bit. I'll be in shortly. I'll go pick up some food, but I like, hope to see you there. Yeah, next up we have Aaron Dill. Do I even need to address you people at this point? I feel like I made myself persona non grata. Wow. <laughs> we love, we you. love you, Aaron Dill. I, I'm referring to chat. <laughs> <laughs> I got half of them wanting to crucify me and half of them wanting to buy me a beer. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm Aaron Dill. You can meet me at Twitter at Adderndillio. I'm also on the Narrative Declaration server. I occasionally pop in and hang out when I'm not uh, cavorting with uh, Thurston to destroy our, our friend group. So, you know, you can maybe be there. That's fine. By all means, please watch. Uh, please watch Under the Parenting. It's really good. Thank you. Bye. Next up, we have Speaker D. Yes, I have been Speaker D, and I was not Speaker Dead. I was Speaker Alive against um, what I thought I was going to be. So you can find me on Twitter at Super Snake Kick, where you can occasionally see me like and retweet and uh, dare I dare I say even post on occasion. Um, uh, this has been uh, Hell on Earth. Um, many people have died, and, um, I will be killing Erndil, uh, at all costs. I think that's my next course of action. But, uh, but he's right, you should watch out to the parenting, it's pretty good. Okay, thank you. All right, that's me! And we have our luscious game master, slayer of players, Thurston Hillman. Session two. I was supposed to kill them all in session two to showcase some of this, 
because I was I was like, they'll go into that boss room. They're players. That they, they, of course, they'll go into the big room, and they didn't. They didn't. They fucking were smart, and then they all rolled crits, and then they had to go through the whole fucking adventure up to this point, being like, ah, oh, we've never died. We're great. Well, God, got you, got you. I made her until do it. I got. I mean, hi. Uh, thank you, thank you all. This was a great time. I am so glad you you came out and hung out with us, and you can find me on all the things at On Call GM. I sometimes stream things. I sometimes play games. I I don't know. I I feel like I'm I'm you know a monster. Everyone in chat is asking to Glub Talk die. As we clearly established, Glub Talk is now a piece of inventory and respawns with Volley. So uh, Marvel end credit scene as Orin and Volley have their moment. Glub Talk's head. Glub Talk help. And good. now Orin Very screams good. terror. Yeah, exactly. Now Orin screams in terror. This Beautiful. Is my new Thank you for staying through the credits for the extra scene, everybody. We love you. Uh, I love you. And uh, thanks again. And I have been your host, Zoran the Bear. If you ever want to ask about the show, anything else, stuff like that, or see a wiggling pain G bear or something like that, uh, just step on by the live stream off uh, Rock Run Hours as you're waiting for other stuff. I'd like to always see you guys here. Um, obviously, with that, love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. And we are going to say goodbye. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you all next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. In two weeks, go to NerdTruthDeclaration.com for our schedule so you can know when we're live. Goodbye, everybody. We love Goodbye. you all. And Goodbye. we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.